Hello, hello, and happy Wednesday. Howdy, howdy. Let me just double check the stream settings here. Baldur's Gate 3 Tactician Gameplay, Evil Dragonborn Sorlock. Looks right to me. The look right to you all. Hey, Char. Howdy, howdy. All right, let's bring it over. How you guys doing? How's the middle of the week going? For how's hump day going for you guys? <laughs> hey, Don. Leda. Hello. Darth. Glad to see BG3 back. I was worried you just abandoned the evil run. Nah, I didn't abandon it. I'm still interested in playing Starfield, but last session pissed me off, so we're back to BG3, and I'll probably play Starfield here and there. I think that'll be the plan, or maybe I'll alternate back and forth. We'll see. As far as video content goes, I don't know how, mu how much I'm going to make for Starfield. I don't know, man. I don't even know if I'll do any videos, to be honest. I might just focus on Baldur's Gate 3 for the next couple months. It always sucks. I wish they would stop doing review copies. Like even when I'm one of the creators that gets a copy early, I wish they wouldn't do that. I would love if I love I would love if that practice just went away. It sucks like stressing out trying to get a review code, and then when you don't get it, you're behind like every other content creator, and then then it's demotivating to want to make any guides because there's people that already have a hundred hours in it. Uh, just I wish they would just do away with it. It also creates a lot of bias in the industry because companies choose favorites and they give codes to, to reviewers that they like, which, you know, kind of gives like a only one perspective on the game when the game first launches. It's just I just hate that that's that's how things work. I wish they would do away with it and we all get copies of games at the same time on the same day regardless if you're a content creator or not. And if you're a responsible buyer, you won't give into the FOMO. You'll wait for content creators to make reviews over the next week or so. <laughs> Ian, thank you so much for the $5 super chat. Glad to see the series come back. Enjoying my run right now. Still in the underdark, but real life comes first. Hell yeah, it does, man. Thanks for the five. I appreciate it. Enjoy your run. Hey, Milburn. Okay, to the tavern. Turtis. You had to watch my Starfield streams. It was hella boring. <laughs> Totally understand, sure. Totally understand. Uh, Starfield has a lot of boring elements to it. Overall, I still enjoy it. And if I did had to have to pay for it, I won't. I don't regret my purchase, even though I got it for free. If I did have to pay sixty or whatever, a hundred bucks, I would not have regretted my purchase. With that said, there's a lot of boring, crappy elements to the game, and then there's other things that I think also are nice. I might do a review in the future. We're not going to talk about Starfield today. We're going to focus on Baldur's Gate Three. Yeah, review copies, yeah, I'm sure they'll never go away. That's why I'm just kind of giving wishful thinking here. And I know I'm not alone. I talk to other content creators, and none of us like it. Most most of us don't like it. We just wish it would stop being a thing. The only people that like it are the companies, because they can choose who they want to give review codes to, and then get results that they want. Later, thank you so much for the $10 super chat. I'm almost done with my run, so I decided it's time to watch yours. Almost done. Go finish it. What are you waiting for? Thanks, Leda. Minthara time? Absolutely. Okay. All right. So as many of you guys are aware, it's been quite a while. It's been probably a week and a half, maybe two weeks since this run. Maybe it's been over two weeks. So I don't exactly remember everything that was going on. I also already feel like I'm schizophrenic because I was running two separate runs at the same time and I can't remember the personality of one versus the other. <laughs> So give me a second to catch up here. What I do remember is last session, we ended up in the Temple of Lathander in the Gith Yankee crash. And I took the mace and the whole place just went off in alarm. And I had five turns to escape the temple. I failed and then we had game over. So that was the end of last session. But what I did was I got on a little bit earlier today and I came back to camp, leveled up my characters, got rid of my spore druid companion i didn't get rid of him completely he's right here but we're putting him on the side for now and now i have kurtz a level 7 vengeance paladin in my group because i'm definitely lacking that frontline tanky type role on tactician 
which was hurting my run a little bit. And I don't think, I think even when we see Minthara here in, in the near future, we're not going to be able to recruit her until the end of Act 2, I think is how it works. So I might as well just grab a higher hireling paladin right now. Start learning the paladin class a little bit more, and then when Minthara comes, I can replace Minthara with Kurtz here. We can get rid of the half-orc, although half-orcs are pretty awesome. So, we're going to go right back to the Temple of Lathander and try to take the mace again and see what happens and see if we can... Uh, I don't know what you got to do. We're going to figure it out when we arrive. So, here we go. I did level up from level 6 to level 7 off-stream right before I started up the stream. And I took one more level in Warlock for my Sorlock here. So now I have five in Sorcerer, two in Warlock. I didn't do anything. Actually, no, let's start the stream off. I'm going to respect Shadowheart. Let's get rid of the Trickster Cleric. It kind of sucks. Uh, I shall be here in my And I already did the so. Trickster Cleric on my first run, so we don't need to do it again. Okay, so let's see here. Let me catch up on the chat, and I'm going to focus in so we can get this leveling done. Thanks, TARDIS. Hype brings unreasonable expectations. True. I'm going to tell you the safe way to get the mace. Nah, that's okay. I, I got it the safe way on my other character. I don't know exactly what I did. But uh, I'm just going to roll with the flow. We're going to see what happens. I kind of hope that the alarms go off again, so then we can try to figure it out, and you guys can watch me struggle. Tempest? I don't know. I'm thinking about going Light Cleric. Let's figure it out. All right, so let's go Cleric. Cantrips will take Sacred Flame, Guidance, of course. Um, I feel like I never use Resistance. It's not bad to have, though. Produce Flame, Blade Ward, Light. Okay, I'll, I'll grab Resistance. And then we're going to grab, let's see, Life, Light. I actually liked Light Domain Cleric a lot when Early Access first came out. I think it's a pretty good Cleric to run when you're a beginner to the game. But now, I feel like I don't really need a dedicated healer on this run. So we're not going to... Damn, Shadowheart's looking pretty pretty fine right now, isn't she? My girl. So we're going to hold off and not do light. Uh, life, let's see. We're not going to do trickery, knowledge. That's boring. Nature, tempest, and war. So tempest, your faith has made you the very thunder that quakes the black firmament. The lightning courses through the veins of a terrible storm. You guys want me to do tempest? Thanks again, Leda, for the $5 super chat. You respected Shadowheart? The light cleric? Light cleric is just so good. I, I might do light cleric right now. You want War Cleric. Hmm. I, the reason why I don't want to do War right now is because I just brought a Paladin into my group. And that took up all my good armor and my weapons and all that. So I don't have a lot of equipment right now. So what I do, what I'll do is we're going to not do War, but maybe in the future we'll come back to War Domain in a couple levels. Hey, Cthulhu, what's up? How does that sound? I'm kind of interested in Tempest. I hear a lot of good things about it. We get Thunder Wave, we get Fog Cloud, and then Wrath of the Storm. Strike back an attacking creature, potentially dealing 2 to 16 lightning damage. On a failed saving throw, you deal half a 2d6 thunder damage roll. That's pretty powerful. That's like a free leveled up cantrip right there. And for War Domain, we get War Priest. When you make an unarmed weapon attack, you can spend a War Priest charge to make an additional attack as a bonus action. That's pretty sweet. Just don't think I have good weapons right now. That also gives you heavy armor efficiency. And then light domain. We have burning hands, fairy fire, and warding flare. Shield yourself with divine light. Use your reaction to impose disadvantage on an attacker, possibly causing their attacks to miss. Pretty good too. The light domain cleric also gets an AoE. I can't remember at what level, but it's a really good feature. Thanks, Dylan. Appreciate it, man. Small bribe for Tempest. All right. You guys think the Tempest is worth $2? I think it's worth $2. You got a deal, Dylan. We'll do Tempest. Sure, why not? Let's give it a try. Pretty interested in it. All right. And then for ability scores, let's dump them all real fast. Let's clear. And let's do... Wisdom's going to be our plus two. Maybe Constitution plus one. Um, constitution, I feel like, is really important for the Cleric to hold Concentration specifically, not even the HP. So let's max out Wisdom, max out Constitution. I wonder if I should do War Priest for my feet, or Warcaster as my feet at level four. Not sure. Lulu, thanks for the five. Do you still have a Starion? Yes, I do. Respect to Shadow Monk and Thief? I might do that, but I don't want to do that tonight. My... 
I feel like my brain's already taken in too much right now. I can't handle another multi-class right now. But I'll think about that later. Hey, Phil, what's up, man? Got the right build. Blend that with Fighter Surge, and you got it. Oh, D Tempest Cleric with the Fighter? With the Action Surge? Or War, War Domain Cleric with, with the Action Surge? Oh, there's so many, so many things to think about. Phil, thanks for the 20, man. Strength, Con, and Wisdom. You guys are crazy. Thanks, Phil. All right, so let's um, let's see. So we're gonna do 17, maybe 15, possibly 16. Let's boost up our strength to 14. Um, actually, I want Dex at 14. Cause wait, wait, does Tempest get? Hold on, does Tempest get heavy armor efficiency? It does. Interesting. This means we don't have to care about dexterity with a Tempest cleric. Whoa, that changes up things a little bit here. Wasn't expecting that. 17, let me think. If I take Warcaster at 4, maybe I'll take Warcaster at 8. We're level 7 right now, so we're going to be 8 soon. I go 17, 15. I don't really know the Tempest Cleric. Like, is it a... It must be a frontliner if it's getting heavy armor efficiency. All right, let's do 17, 15, 14, 10. And then we'll do a, hmm, it really doesn't matter, charisma or intelligence here. I feel like both of those saving throws are pretty rare. Shadow's not going to be doing the talking in my group. Let's boost her to it. Let's, let's give her intelligence. Okay, how's that look? You guys like that? Got a, got a fighter build? Resilient and con is better than Warcaster? You think? You think having advantage on constitution saving throws resilient con wait hold on let me think about that resilience gives you gives you advantage or pref what is it what is resilient i can't remember all the feats we'll see at level four we're gonna go 17 15 and let's see shadow heart already has proficiencies we have that armor light armor medium shields sight religion okay i think we're good to go here Yeah, we're good to go. I can always respec again. It only costs 100 gold, so... Kind of trial and error a little bit here. Got two odd numbers. Yeah, we're looking good. All right, welcome to my first ever Tempest Cleric. Let me just take a look here. I don't have any heavy armor for her right now. We have the Githyanki Half Plate. She's going to have to do... We have Scale Mail. 15 plus 1, 15 plus 1. That's equipped by Kaz. Heavy armor, medium armor... Light armor. Okay. Damn. See us all. Okay, level two. We get turn on dead. Destructive Wrath. When you roll thunder or lightning damage, you can use your channel divinity to deal maximum damage instead. Okay. Pretty simple. I don't think Shadowheart's wearing any pants right now. All right, level three. Really nothing going on here with the Tempest Cleric. We get Shatter and Gust of Wind. I want to see a Tempest Cleric versus a Light Cleric, because the Light Cleric gets Fireball. That would be cool to watch a 1v1 between both of those classes. All right, I like Shatter a lot. I used to use that spell all the time in Early Access. Level four, we get another cantrip. Let's take... Gain advantage on intimidation and performance checks. I think you have to use that on yourself, don't you? Not going to really do much for Shadowheart. Do you guys know if Thaumaturgy can be used on others? Like in dialogue checks? We have Light, Blade, Ward, and Produce Flame. I'm going to grab Produce Flame. It's always good to have, like, a fire spell that you can use if you need to blow something up. 
Then for a feat, we have two odd numbers. So let me just take a look at Warcaster real fast. So Warcaster gives you advantage on saving throws to maintain concentration on a spell. And you can use a reaction to cast Shocking Grasp at a target moving out of melee range. And then we'll take a look at Resilient. Resilient gives us a plus one to any ability score that we would like. If I didn't do my ability scores this way, I could have left just one odd number in Constitution. And that would bump it up to a positive number. And then we get proficiency in Constitution saving throws. So we get a plus two and then eventually a plus three. Hmm, interesting. I wonder how the math would play out versus Warcaster having advantage or having proficiency on Constitution saving throws. It would be cool if somebody, I'm sure people have in D&D, &D, and I'll look up some articles after this. It would be cool to see which one proves to be much more advantageous. Like my use of the word right there. All right, so we're going to go with... I am going to go with ability improvement right now, though. Or I'm going to go with Warcaster. Hmm. I'm going to go with ability right now. And we'll take Warcaster at level 8. Okay, 18. And then we're going to do Constitution up by 1. Warcaster, you say, Phil? Too late. I'm level 7. I'm going to be level 8 before you know it, so it's not a big deal which one I choose. Okay, destroy undead. When you successfully turn an undead creature, it also takes 4 to 24 radiant damage. We also get Call Lightning, a druid spell. I'm pretty sure that Call Lightning is only a druid spell. I don't think it's even on the wizard spell list. I think wizard has a different type of lightning spell. And Sleet Storm, call forth a storm that disrupts concentration of spellcasters, douses fires, and creates an ice surface. All right. I like it. Let's go ahead and prepare. Let's see. Let's prepare Glyph of Warding. It is a great spell. Spirit Guardians for concentration. Therefore, I don't need Bless. That's good enough for now. We find a cool graphic on the difference between proficiency and advantage. Cool. Awesome. I'll look it up after the stream. It is a druid spell. Unpopular opinion, but Call Lightning is my favorite spell, even over Fireball. TARDIS, ban yourself for three minutes right now, please. Get out of my chat. Great water to increase. Oh, yes, Phil. Good thinking. Thank you, Phil. You're right. With the Tempest build, we definitely want to create as many water surfaces as we can so we can get that synergy between lightning spells and water. So I am going to prepare create water right now. Let's get rid of Bless. I don't need Bless. If I'm doing Spirit Guardians... Actually, I'm going to keep Bless. Let's get rid of Prairie Healing. I hate that spell. Pick up Aid. Great Water. There we go. I like that a lot. Get rid of Protection from Energy. Maybe Mass Healing Word. Actually, Spiritual Weapon. Could get rid of Cure Wounds, because Cure Wounds sucks. In popular opinion? I don't know. You guys think it sucks? How many, I wonder how many level 3 spell slots I have at this level. Two? What's up, Malicent? Thanks for eight months of channel membership. Appreciate it. Yeah, maybe I should start wearing all the lightning gear. I feel like I haven't been looking for it on this run because I didn't expect to play a Tempest Cleric. All right, and final level seven right now. We could do a multi-class, but I don't know what I want to do for that yet. So we're going to stick with Tempest Cleric alone. And I get Ice Storm and Freedom of Movement. Snap an ally out of a stun, difficult terrain, can't slow them down. And they can't be magically paralyzed or restrained. We already know that spell. So, okay. There we go. Let's head off. We got a Sorlock, a Tempest Cleric, a Vengeance Paladin, and an Assassin Rogue. I like where we're headed here. Let's hit F5, so I don't ever have to do that again. This should spawn me right into the Temple of Lathander. Shh, 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 shy.
Nice orc. Yeah, that's one of the hirelings. I still don't get why Larian didn't allow us to customize the appearance of hirelings. Doesn't make any sense to me. Unless there's like some technological challenge behind that. Okay, welcome back to the Temple of the Thander. <laughs> Let me take a moment to gather myself because it's about to get crazy in here. I can't remember with these characters what spells I needed to cast as my routine out of a long rest. Don't know if there was any... Not many ritual spells in here like Long Strider. Look at all these Vengeance Paladin skills. I've never played a Vengeance Paladin in my entire life because it wasn't part of early access, but I got to make sure to use Vow of Enmity. Gain advantage on attack rolls against an enemy. And you know what I'm going to do? You know what is an absolutely deadly combo? I can tell you right now, even as someone who's never played Vengeance Paladin, is going to be Great Weapon Master at level 8. I'm going to take that feat like that. So good to have advantage on your attacks and also have Great Weapon Master toggled on. That's why the Barbarian is really good with that feat, too. Alright, we don't have anybody using Mage Armor because I'm a Draconic Sork. I think we're good. Now. Who do I want to send into here? So last time when I came in here, I was trapped. And there was like a bubble like around this inner circle right here. And there was a portal over here. So let's go ahead and I need to use a character that can get out of the bubble. Because last time I wasn't able to get out and I also didn't have Misty Step. And now I have Misty Step because I'm level 7. So maybe I'll use my Draconic Sorcerer. We'll put everybody else over here near the portal. I do remember that all of the crystals that are powering the Force Bubble... I think are on these pillars right here. And you can shoot them. But they did have 30 HP each. And I had four or five rounds to escape before the entire crash blew up. I don't know if that's enough time to destroy those crystals. And I don't know if there's another way to disable them. Just don't know. And that's when the game's fun. So here we go. F5. I agree, Starson. of brilliant light. A fist-sized piece of amber flecked with crimson is set in the handle, emitting a radiance all its own. This mace certainly has a very unusual design. Hey, Sergio. Doing good, man. Thanks. Okay, reach into the light and take the mace. You feel your patron's presence nearby. It hums with an unfamiliar anxiety. Taking such a holy weapon would be diabolical indeed, but the consequences... I did, Shy. I got it the legitimate way on my other run. Okay, um, take the mace anyway. What's the worst that could happen, right? Guys, I know, I know you can disable the trap. I know that there's another way to do this. For cripe's sake, I'm taking the mace and we're going to have fun. And we're going to try to escape the damn bubble. I already, I already taken the mace. I don't want to do it the, the boring way. I want, I want to try to figure this crap out right here. Just now reaching this point in my first playthrough. Nice. Good luck. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not good. And my characters are no longer standing on the portal side. That's not good at all. I know, Tardis. I know. You're right. I love you all. I know you guys just want to help. I appreciate it. You still piss me off, okay? Everything is in motion. All within these walls are doomed to destruction unless you act. I can love you guys, and you can piss me off at the same time. Okay, let's go. This is so much more fun than just taking the mace off with the little key. Okay? You guys need to learn how to play video games. You're playing the wrong way. All right, so last time this was game over, I did get Blood of Lathander, that's nice. Um, let's take this slow here. Because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Oh, my inventory.
Let's give Shadowheart the blood of Lathander. Such a badass mace. Hold on one second. I have an ice pack on my knee and it's just falling everywhere. There we go. All right, so we have this bubble right here that I believe Wolf is trapped in. We have four turns. Escape the crash or disarm the device. So we have these solar machines right here. Each have 30 HP. I don't know how I would disable them, like, unless I had, like, the fly spell or something like that, because I can't get up there. And I don't think four turns is enough to destroy 30 HP targets, and we have four of them. So I think my only option at this point... Oh. Is that, is that really it right there? Will that actually... Now, the first time I came into here, I came in with my, uh, my ranger, and I took the mace without any problem at all. And I didn't do anything with this. Safe zone is all the way back there? What? What? How are you supposed to make it there in four turns? Is that a joke? Cannot fast travel from this area. Is that an actual joke? Is Larian trolling me right now? That's like seven miles to the southwest. Wow, this will be pretty cool to make it there, though, and see what type of explosion that we have here. Okay. Running's the funnest thing you can do. I don't know if I have fly right now. Maybe I have a fly potion. Uh, let's, let's do it one character at a time, okay? So let me move my... Hold on. Let's see if we have a potion of fly. No potions of fly. Okay, that's not a good start. Um, I don't have haste. Do I have any potions of speed? I have the speedy lightfoot boots. When the wearer dashes, they gain three lightning charges. That would actually be good for Shadowheart. Hope I can't do that in this screen. That's like, that's actually crazy how far away that is. Um... Okay. Trying to plan out the quickest route here without having the fly spell. I mean, obviously I got to get down here somehow. I could probably come up. I wonder if I should come up to here and then Misty Step. To cut off this corner. Misty Step to, to right here. I wonder if I can get right there. And then Misty Step down after that. Okay, I got this all figured out. You guys have nothing to worry about, okay? Promise you, you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Good thing it went up. Now to get out. There's a way out the bottom. Okay. Alright, back to Astarion. Wow, that's tough. I want to know what happens if I shoot this, though. I'm, like, kind of curious. Only has 20. I wonder if that would just disable all the traps. I bet you it would. I bet you it's just done right after that. All right, so I'll tell you what we're going to do here. We're going to leave somebody as the sacrificial lamb. <laughs> Who can do the most damage? I think Shadowheart can do the most damage to that because she has... Is that thing resistant to Radiant? Oh, never mind. You bastard. Um. Okay, it's not Shadowheart that can do the most damage. Actually, Starion has a 6 to 11 bow could probably sneak attack it. Alright, we're gonna leave a star no, actually a Starion has never mind. Um I don't want to do a Starion because he has cunning action dash, so let's go ahead and get a Starion out of here. I mean this is crazy. I think five turns will be easier, right? We'll be more respectable. 
Is Starion encumbered right now? I feel like he's moving super slow. He's not. Okay. <laughs> right? <laughs> now it's my paladin's turn. You know what? I'll tell you what we're going to do. Oh, damn it. I can't hit that shot. Are you kidding me right now, game? You got to be absolutely shiting me. Oh yeah, I forget that Shadow Hearts a Oh no, never mind. Ancient grudges. Touch your amulet to Oh okay, it's my amulet. That's pretty cool. Okay, three turns left. Here we go. Two damage? <laughs> I'm not even gonna be able to kill this thing even if I wanted to with this character in time. Is it resistant to slashing damage? Or piercing damage? It is. Wow, they really screw you on that one right there. Okay, well my paladin's dead either way, so... Let me think, if I'm doing 2 to 11, a cut in half pretty much every time, um, could I do that in three rounds? Has 15 left? It's possible. Could help out with a quick... I could help out with one, one guiding bolt, even though... Orc, orc, oh. What about call lightning? Would that work? I think it would. I don't want to destroy it all in one, though. Let's hit F5. Hopefully I didn't do it on... Oh, okay, okay. Now, now we have our answer. So that... The only thing that that did right there was take down the bubble. So if I had a character that couldn't escape, that would have taken out that force field bubble. It does nothing with these solar crystals right here. All right. Well, it is what it is. At least we know. I thought I wanted to go up here. Did I screw that up? Shit. I think I did. You gotta be kidding me. Look, if I came up here, I could have misty stepped all the way down. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be real interesting. I need to get off this building before that thing explodes. All this difficult terrain everywhere it really sucks. Is that our quickest path, or do we want to go all the way up onto here? I'll play it safe, and we'll go right here. If I get a Starion over there, I don't even know how I'm going to get down, to be honest with you. Well, Starion might be dying. But since when have we ever cared about that, you know what I mean? <laughs> Difficult terrain just everywhere in this place. Three turns left.
I don't even think I have feather fall to be honest with you. Two turns left. I don't think I did it. This is crazy hard. Yeah, it's not the dark urge. Hey, what's up, Ant? What's up, Luality? How are you? Thanks for stopping in. Angie, my man, how you been? The mobile feed ignores difficult terrain. Pretty cool. You know what else ignores difficult terrain? A level eight ranger. Which I don't have in my party right now. Goldheart, how are you? Dark Urge is my continuous need to make new characters. You guys think I'm going to make it or am I screwed right here? I feel like I'm screwed. I'm going to let you guys down and you guys are going to make fun of me. And I'm going to quit streaming forever. Because you guys are mean. I can't even tell where... Oh, we're pretty close to the safe zone, actually. Hold on. Safe zone is right here. My character's right here. We're going to teleport down to here. I think I made it. I think I made it, y'all. Y'all come back now, you hear? Oliver, hello, hello. How you doing, Lulu? Wait, wait. Luality was in our... Luality? Why is... Lu I'm pretty sure Luality is live on Twitch right now. You guys know Luality? Elden Ring dance pad. Professional. Don't waste a step. I think I made it, guys. Very, very close, at least. If I misty step one more time, I think I have to get to right here. Or right here? I can't tell. The problem is... I'm gonna lose half my party right now. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of gold to resurrect here. Yeah, there's no way a Starion makes it. Not a chance in hell. Somebody's having a power outage? Today's one of these days you just need to try again tomorrow. My po Oh, damn. Oh, okay. That sucks. You have to get them to the corner of the temple? You have to get them to the corner of the temple. Okay? Think about it. All right, one turn remaining. Let's get Mr. Leon over to this spot. I think it's right here. I think I made it. I'm actually very surprised. Ooh. It was a lot closer than I thought. When I looked at the map at first, I thought it was way further. I don't know if that's possible without Misty Step, though. Or the Fly Spell. Well, this should be fun. Watching the place explode and watching Astaria and Kurtz and Shadowheart die. <laughs> Shadow Shadowheart got stuck in the vines too, just to make it better. Alright, Astaria, get down, my man. Get down, my brother. Oh, he went prone. Okay, Shadowheart. Uh, just, that's it. Let's just let him die. We might as well keep him might as well keep him grouped up. Make it easier when I gotta come back and res if I use the revivify spell. I want to try to get a good view of this, though. Hopefully, Larian has, like, a cinematic animation or something that we can see. How funny would it be if I was trying to get a good view and I moved just outside of the circle right here? <laughs> Getting a little nervous that I might actually do that. All right, here we go. A five. doesn't give you this cutscene when you're inside. Holy crap. This is really cool. Whoa! How clever of Larian Studios to have an alternate path where that happens. How clever. 
Wonder if it's worth exploring the temple again. Now it's the ruins of Lathander. What's up, Slander? Never seen this version of the cutscene. It's gone. Oh the shit! Whoever said it earlier in chat, you were right. Oh, wait, why is a start? How did a start? Well, so confused. Like every day. How did a Starion survive that? Maybe because he was on like the corner and I jumped down and that was also a safe zone? Huh? If that was the case, why would Larian make the safe zone all the way over here if you're like safe up in here too? Still alive. Okay. So that's progress. I don't think I have any revivify scrolls, unfortunately. Oh, I do. I wonder if I should use these or if I should res them back at camp. I'm gonna res... I'm gonna res them back at camp. Can't slow down. All right, where's that stupid bald skeleton? Hey, Danton, what's up, loser? Fate, dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a then thou must return with the proper payment. We'll resurrect Shadowheart, this and then we'll the use her level three revivify scroll on the other person. Well counted. I recommend keeping my. So on my first playthrough, I, I missed the end credits of this game. I won't talk about them right now because of spoilers, but when you guys beat the game, make sure to let the credits play out. They're like 35 minutes long. And at the end, there's a little scene with Jurgle. It's, it's a pretty funny scene. My hate for Danton gives you life. Appreciate that. Sorry on special dialogue. That I call Withers a loser. Withers, Withers is a loser. There's no other way around it. Like, what does the guy even do? Besides try to speak philosophy with me, you know what I mean? He's a philosophy nerd. We don't like those people. Also delete your save file. Wait, what? And get a group of gif to raid your house. <laughs> Alright. Why did Astarion stay here? I guess it's because Leon was not part of the group. So let's come back. I've got a long road ahead. No one's stopped me yet. been a while since I played this game. I'm forgetting like some of the basic stuff. I don't want to end the day. I want to go back. We want to go back to the Rosemary Monastery. He's there to make money. True. I do respect the grind. You know what I mean? All right, come on, Shadow. You little cutie pie. Oh, God. I don't know if you guys know, but Shadow Heart's my girlfriend. I can't say she's my, I can't say she comes willingly on this run, but on my other run, she loved me. I was a natural with her. All that, all that fuss in early access that you guys were making about me not being able to romance characters, it was all just, it was all an act. When the, when the full game came out, you guys saw my true nature. You know what I mean? Didn't call me the MILF hunter for nothing when I was in high school. <laughs> the joke, the joke never gets old, man. I'm going to use that for the rest of my gaming career. I freaking love it. It's true, too. Let's ask my friends. All right, let's go ahead and grab Revivify. Then we save 200 gold here. We also don't have to use a scroll, which is nice. Take two. You're married to Gal? You better t tell Gal to stop putting his hand on my leg, Shy. Okay? I don't know if you know that. But, um... Don't you're, uh... Your hubby has been cheating on you. I don't blame him, but... All right, let's go ahead and heal up. I don't know if I should use a short rest. We'll just do cure wounds. No, we let's could do potions. Let's see if we have one potion. I'll show you guys a little trick here. I do have one small potion. Let me see if we have a bigger potion. Oh, yes, we do. Let's take... Take one of these. And Astarion and Kurtz need health right now, so let's grab Kurtz and Astarion. Still breathing. Have them stand Quite over everything. here. And yeah, nice and close to each other. There we go. 
Then we'll bring Wolf up. I didn't exactly dress for hiking mountains. Shame we can procure some pack mules or horses. I don't know if they're close enough. Perish the thought. Those ill-tempered beasts are prone to biting. Well, so are you, but we keep you around, don't we? <laughs> and I'm not offering any rides, if that's what you're talking about. Okay, perfect. We'll do one short rest. Better than nothing. And then we'll do a cure wounds. Repair it quickly. Actually, we'll just drink a potion. Uh. Two potions. Okay, and there you have it, folks. I think I have completed the Mountain Pass. We completed the Underdark. We completed Grimforge. We actually went into the Shadowlands. Um, killed Jahira, which was fun. The Last Light Inn has been destroyed. I think it's time to head back to the Shadowlands and hopefully meet up, hopefully meet up with Bay Minthara. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. So, let's take our sweet old time and venture over there nice and slowly. I think I want to check over here to see if anything happened to the building. I wonder what happened to the... Oh, so all the Kithyanki must die when you do that. Let's go back and find out. I am in no rush with this playthrough. I'm actually really excited to make it to the city of Baldur's Gate and explore all the side quests that I missed on my Let's Play series. Let's take a look at this place. Not looking too good, is it? Interesting. I wonder if you just can't get over there anymore. Shadowheart romance? Maybe. Do I plan to romance her? I mean, right now I just can't get her off my back. You know what I'm saying? She's kind of starting to annoy me. She's making it too easy. There's no chase. Kind of a turnoff, you know what I'm saying? For Leon. You gotta give Leon a little challenge. All right, I don't think you can go in the crush at all anymore, actually. Was there a fast travel point? There was. I think it's completely gone. Um, this is all from Act 1. Last Light Inn, Trail to Crags, Monastery. I don't see any Gith Yankee crush. Does anybody know? Is there any way to get back in the crush? Act 3 side quests are excellent. I thought Act 3 was phenomenal. Like, clearly there's some problems with it. But, like, overall, it's still my favorite act. I missed a lot in the LP. Yeah, you know, most of the stuff that I missed in the LP was in the first half of the game, and that was intentional, because I was sick of playing Act 1. Um, but I also did not do a lot of side quests in Act 3 in the Let's Play. This would have taken too long. I didn't want to do, like, a 400-episode Let's Play series. <laughs> Crash got exploded. I know it did, but I'm wondering if I can explore like the ruins or something. Has anybody found a way in there? I don't think you can. All right, let's go. It was destroyed. I know it was destroyed. I know it was destroyed. I'm just wondering if I can explore the ruins. You guys know what I'm saying? All right, let's check up here real fast. I don't think I explored up here. We have some fog of war. Greater Elixir of Alt Arcane Cultivation. You know what potions I really like that are really good? Especially when you're playing on Tactician if you don't have a lot of food. Are the Slumber Potions, where you can go to sleep for two rounds and you get all of your spell slots back. Such a great, great potion. I wonder if there's something you can do right here. This looks like it's like a puzzle. Good morning, Lathander. I suppose all mornings for you are good. You making them up... Of all the bright bits of night and getting them shine worthy and such. I have two new boys, Luke and Elliot, and I should like them to see lots of your nice sunups. So if you'd watch over them, I should be most thankful. I am poor as muck, but have some heart left to give, that which has not been eaten up by the boys and their mum. So that bit is yours if you keep them seeing sunrises. Thanks. Harrison Fields. Dear Morning Lord, and you are a dearie. Haven't I just had the grandest time? Sure, if I was honey, I wouldn't have trouble getting down a hill. So warm and good I feel. I've been headed here to pay you homage and beyond on other business for some two odd months, and every mile has unearthed more and more kindness. For example, when my sleeping roll was infested with bed books, itching me disagreeably, morning lord. I have no qualms admitting it. A woman gave me a spare of hers, and it was toasty warming of a night. And she with two children of her own to tend. Anyway, thanks for pouring your honey heat over each and every day, cloudy or no, here for a lone woman barefoot and smiling on the long road.
check our potion crafting here for a second. Elixir of necrotic resistance, viciousness. What does that one do? I forget. Let's craft one. Vigilance. I can't remember what that does either. We can make... Oh, yes, yes, yes. Five potions of speed. I should have done that before... Before I tried escaping the Lathander Temple. And a potion of flying. You see how good crafting is in this game? Or how good alchemy crafting is? I didn't even realize it, but I had potions of flying and potions of speed right under my nose. Unbelievable. And Featherfall. Literally, the three the three spells I thought I didn't have. Unbelievable. Okay. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of Dodge. Why are we getting a little quest marker here? Oh, take the egg from the hatchery. Did I... What happened to the egg? Do I have the egg? I do have the Gith Yankee egg. I don't remember what we did. Did I go back to that lady and give it to her, or, or an offer it to her? And I don't know what I did. All right, dull moment. just go back and figure it out. We're gonna run it in all the way to the Act Two area, because I don't want to fast travel and ruin the immersion. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'll even take the ski lift. Nah, ski lift is for pansies. We're gonna take the trapped route. Why not cook what's in the egg? You guys want scrambled get Yankee eggs? Potion of speed is godly. Yes, it is. One of the best in the game for sure. Totally agree with you. The haste spell is pretty good too. Cost the spell slot. Not as good as the potion of speed, but you can hold concentration on the haste spell. Lasts for 10 turns. And just look at this game. I really hope that like some player discovers like some secret that we haven't seen in this game yet. Like I can misty step to some edge right here and then we go in some cave and I'm the first player in the world to explore it. That would be awesome. Target's too far. You don't know if you don't try, right? The funny thing is, in early access, it didn't tell you when you when you jumped. It wouldn't tell you if it was a jump to your death situation. But I remember in early access jumping to all these different areas just to test it out, and sometimes we would survive. I remember we survived the jump to the bottom of the bridge in the Gith Yankee area in Act One, near Joaquin's Rest. And I also remember jumping to the bottom no, of no. the Zentrum hideout into the waterfall and surviving that. This is such a beautiful biome. It's like kind of barren and dead and rocky, but it's just so beautiful. It has just enough foliage to make me happy. Like, what's down here? Is there a secret down here? You th there's three waterfalls. I feel like I got... I'm going back. Hold on. Let me just go check really quick with Misty Step. It'd be, fine to, it'd be fun to find something in Act 1 when people were finding the Bual place. Hey, Tammy, what's up? Doing pretty good. Yourself? I haven't watched a single episode of Wolf's Evil playthrough? I don't think you can get anywhere down here. Oh, Shadowheart wasn't with my group. What the hell? Why is she back here? She didn't want to jump. Always check behind a waterfall, folks. Always. I'm not seeing anything. Okay, we're out of here. I'm kind of nervous for the Shadow Curse lands. I'm really curious to see what's going to happen when we make it to Moonrise Towers. Like, I'm trying to ally up with Ketherick Thorn, but I feel like the game might not let me. Tried for a long time to see something at the bottom. Nothing. Spent so much love and care on the environment that you only, that you only use to get to other places. Wait. I... Wait, I'm trying to think. 
They spent so much love and care on this environment that you only use to get to other places. Yeah, I think I get what you're saying. Because this is earlier in the game and Act 3 is the end of the game. Yeah, I think I get what you're saying. I think it's worth it for them to spend. Uh, yeah, it is wild. It, it's crazy how much like time and detail they spend on things that you only, yeah, they only experience like one time on a playthrough. I get what you're saying now. It's also crazy to think of how much time Larian spends on like having the Gith Yankee race offer some, offer a different playthrough than playing as like a human. Like all the things that come with the reactivity in the game when you play as a Gith Yankee. Knowing that like 5% of the player base will play as a Gith Yankee. And then it's crazy that they offer the origin character playthrough too. Most people play custom characters, and by the time they're done with their custom run, most people don't play through CRPGs twice, like we do, because we're all hardcore fans, but most people don't play video games for like... They, they do like half a playthrough and then they quit. That's like the average video game player. So it's crazy to think like how much time Larian spent on the origin characters, knowing that they were more so there for replayability versus an initial player experience. That's why we love Larian. Shadowheart, are you effing serious? Oh my god. Pardon my language, but sometimes Bay gets on my nerves. You know what I mean? Let's try this way. I can't wait to see how my character's face changes the more that we use the tadpole powers. I am kind of disappointed. I heard, I read a lot about the tadpole powers. There's really like not any negative side effect from using them, except your character having like dark veins on their head. I hope that Larian expands on that a little bit more and actually puts like some real penalties in the game. Gosh, man, just look at this. Just, just wow. Just wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, thank God we still have some companies that make good looking video games that are also highly immersive with a ton of depth a ton of content like this is incredible we're running around the forgotten realms in 2023 time to press ahead you know what i mean thank god baldur's gate 3 exists because if the only game i could play right now is starfield that would be pretty pissed off gal does the same thing I've only read articles, Shy, but a lot of people are saying that when you use the tadpole slowly, your character's face will start developing these black veins. Let me take a look at Astarion right now. Let's hide his helm and see. Actually, I'll make him naked for you guys. I know you guys like that. He doesn't have anything yet. It doesn't look like... Not sure at like what stage it comes. I'm not sure if it's even possible to get it like in the Act One area. Walk in the way of dawn, for Lathander cannot protect you where the light doth not reach. You like the dark vines? So this is where I met Elminster for the first time on my other character, and it was one of my favorite moments of the entire game. Especially after having Ed Greenwood on the channel earlier this year. Like, to see his character in this game, even though he didn't write this part of his character. Uh, everything just came together at that moment. I'll never forget that moment. You also see Elminster in Do not enter. BG1 this and 2 as well. Interesting. Okay, we are officially done with Act 1. And half of, and I'd say about 20% of Act 2. Better not be cursed. Let's go ahead and save this as Mountain Pass done. Monastery, honestly, the best looking places in BG3. Oh, yeah. You met him in the Underdark? Yeah, I guess he can either be here or in the Underdark. And I don't know if... I think he doesn't show up if you don't have Gal in your group. And Gal, I think, is dead in my playthrough. Equivalent to Merlin or Gandalf? Yeah, there's some similarities. Elminster is a Chosen of Mistra, one of the most powerful wizards in the realms. Not a god, but a chosen of gods, and therefore one of the most powerful mortal wizards of all time. 
Now, Volo is supposedly also a Chosen of Mistra. I don't think Larian talks about that at all in this game. I don't know how canon that is, because that is an Ed Greenwood tidbit. But he's not a Chosen in the same way that... Oh, no, actually, Volo is not a Chosen of Mistra. Volo is an Anchor of the Weave. There's differences. An Anchor of the Weave is someone that holds a part of the weave. So if the weave was destroyed, it's not destroyed completely. A chosen is somebody that Mistra invests like her actual powers into to represent her. Something like that. Close enough. Okay. Um, we're going to need... Actually, Shadowheart doesn't need anything because she's a worshiper of Shar. We also have the temple. What I should do is give the mace to somebody else. Nah, we just need one torch. That's it. That'll be good enough. We'll lead with the Paladin. I can't wait to get into combat and try out this Vengeance Paladin. We have some other torches here too, actually. I'll pick them all up. Why not? The only thing that sucks is when you have a torch out. I think it costs an action to switch to your melee weapon in combat. Pretty sure it does. You don't need everybody with a torch, but sometimes the pathing gets messed up and then your player gets left behind. So I'm going to pull a torch out for everybody except Shadowheart. It also just looks really cool. I've got a long road ahead. And thank you guys for being here tonight. I appreciate it. Found out the hard way in combat when the torch stays out. Always yeah, in well combat ways. it gets tough. Yeah, not as bad as it could have. Never, never considered killing Volo. Yeah, I don't think it... I don't think Larian ties that lore into the game. Sometimes Ed Greenwood has lore that's not canon to Wizards of the Coast D&D, even though they're both intertwined, of course, because Ed was the creator. There's also a lot of lore that hasn't been explained yet by Wizards of the Coast and hasn't made its way into video games and books like that that Ed Greenwood knows. Still alive. All right, so we need to figure out how to get Minthara in our group. Um, I don't know. We have to play the liar somewhere. Looks like it gored one of its attackers before it died. Let's send the paladin ahead. I love how the half orcs run. Awesome. Oh, would you look at that? So I think it has been, the myth has been busted. That destroying chests does not destroy the loot inside. I said this a few times in my videos with like 80% certainty, but I think somebody, somebody did a test with like a hundred chests and it doesn't, doesn't break the loot inside. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to break it though with this one. So let's go ahead and switch back to the torch. Let's grab a Starion. Had, had Greenwood created the realms, his word is law. True, I agree. Absolutely. Had Greenwood over Wizards of the Coast any day. How are you, Rep? Okay, what do we get here? Indigo die. Who can we die? Should we die my paladin, Indigo? <laughs> Let's do it. Why not? Why the hell not? No time to rest. Well, that's pretty ugly. Okay. Not the indigo that I thought it would be, but... Wait, hold on. Let me Google search indigo. Indigo. That looks like violet. That looks like pink violet to me. I guess that's right. I always thought indigo... Okay, indigo, yeah, it's like purplish-blue. Okay. I guess it's close enough. Oh well, it is what it is. We're gonna be the purple paladin. Or the pink paladin. <laughs> Might as well do the helm, too. The helmet of smiting. Oh, that actually looks pretty good. You guys know violets? Violet and lavender is one of my favorite colors of all time. I love lavender. I don't know if it's because of the Drist books or what. I just love the look of lavender. And I actually almost like modeled the entire look of my channel around that color. Wow, 
Wow, look at this. Absolutely terrifying. Torches just make every every RPG look so much cooler. No time to rest. It's so fun playing this game on the second time just because like even after I've gone through a lot of the combat encounters and I don't remember where they are. I don't remember like what the strategy is. It's kind of like playing again for the first time almost. I wonder if I can uncurse. Those who die in the shadows are cursed to remain there forever. These undead have reduced hit points and strength resistance. No, I don't think we can. You know what's a good spell to have in this game? Remove curse. It's pretty good. Okay, so I think this is where the drider is. Let me hit F5. Shit, I lost pick with the wrong character. That's okay. The last time that I came here, there was a half orc here. Wonder if it's just not rendering in. Be interesting to see how this plays out. And I could just jump down. Sure, let's do it. Let's see what happens. Minus three HP, minus one HP. There's nobody here. Shouldn't have picked that up. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Shit, that's minus six HP. Oh. Come on, Astarion, get the hell out of the way, dude. Unbelievable. That's a joke. Starion is the laughing stock of my group. You guys know that? Vidar. I was able to convince him to give it to me and then walk into the darkness. Charismatic rogue for the win. Gandalf will be displeased. The drider made fun of my music skills and called me the torture of fires. That's actually hilarious, Shy. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. This is, uh, this is different. I'm like 90% sure that this is where I met the Drider on my first run. Let's get going. I turned on the Drider when I met the Harpers, but what path lies before me? not here right now. I hope I didn't ruin the Minthara run. There's no telling. If I did ruin the Minthara quest, there's no telling when I did. I'm just screwed, basically. What a day. So many things that you can do in this game that change things. Ooh, jackpot! That was the jack of pots right there. My mind and, well, in it. Interesting. What is this over here? Don't know if I've ever been down here. Something tells me this might be a combat and co uh oh, perception failed. Um, do I have a daylight spell? Did I take the light cantrip? I do have daylight. Oh, what? I definitely never been in here before. I'm 
definitely never been in here. There's nothing else in here. What did I fail the perception check on? I wonder if it was a trap chest, maybe. Deep and move. Well, hello. Yep, this is new. Shadow Cursed Needle Blight. Oh my god. Never seen this combat encounter before. Cast Daylight and an ally to become crazy shiny. I have half HP with two of my characters already. This is not a good start. Oh man, not a good start at all. Alright, let's go ahead and examine these enemies. Resistant to necrotic damage. Explode in a needle burst upon dying. Perfect sentry, you can't be surprised. Superior dark vision. How about this big boy right here? Same thing, pretty much. Tangle vine form. Any creature making a melee attack against the mess of writhing vines may become entangled. That's nice. Oh, God bless. Okay, alright, um... My orc is literally one shot right now. Quite literally. All right, we do have the Tempest Cleric. Um, honestly, I think the play here, though, is going to be to start off with Spirit Guardians, to be quite honest with you. We are entangled at the moment, but I think I can actually help this character to get out of that entanglement. Um, is Spirit Guardians the play right now, though, is the question. Is it the play? Um... Hmm. Freedom of movement actually would... I wonder if that would get me out of that too. Stun, difficult, train, can't slow, and they can't be magically paralyzed or restrained. I wonder if vines are considered magically paralyzed or restrained. I think they probably are. Hertz is pretty much dead right now. Alright, let's see if we can get him to survive one round. I'm going to throw the biggest potion that we have. I am going to throw a potion of greater healing. He could die from the damage, so I'm gonna throw it right at his legs. That should do it. Okay, 10 HP, I just need him to survive one round and then we'll do a healing word. God, it's not worth it to do it, to do it. Healing word level three. Nope, level two. Let's do healing word level two. Okay, all right. Spirit Guardian's next turn. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, look at that half half orc relentless endurance you guys see that that's incredible all right we got to get him to survive one more round then he's going to go absolutely off nice okay and now let's go ahead and probably come up here yeah i like that a lot Okay. Forty HP here. I don't know if it's worth doing it on one. Um, I might actually do... I can't wait to get my Eldritch Invocations. I think that's next level. Five. Power of Fireball. Thanks, Shy. Danton will be missed. I might bring Danton back. I do want to try more of the Spore Druid. 
but on tactician on a second run of the game where i'm trying to i don't have like anybody that's frontline damage that's just a little frightening you know what i mean all right mr danton you know what sucks is he has the torch out right now so i can't even attack oh that's such a bummer i did all of that we're gonna have to take some uh you gotta be kidding me okay do lay on hands we'll do 28 that'll actually we'll do lay on hands level one and then drink a potion and i'm gonna back him up Time a little bit ahead. that's a cool spell Okay, Mr. Poop Mound, are you going to take your turn? I like these plants right here. Spooky. Attack with the torch? I don't think it's worth it. I have way more powerful spells and weapon attacks. These guys were vulnerable to fire, I might consider it. Yeah, but if I attack with a torch, that takes up my action, and then next turn I have to—I either have to keep the torch out the entire time, or I'm—I'm I'm gonna switch. All right, let's go. Um, I should have—I didn't even put it away, did I? No, I didn't. So that was stupid. Sixty-four with disadvantage because I constricted right now. Destructive Wrath. When you roll thunder or lightning damage, you can use your channel divinity to deal maximum damage instead. Damn it. It succeeded on its saving throw. disadvantage against that target Starion an absolute badass right there 38 damage incredible I don't think it's even worth doing hex right now actually it is because I can get that spell slot back um Yeah, I should have done Hex. Oh, well. Do it after the fact. This guy's just not moving for some reason. He's constricting. Wrapped around a target to constrict it and can't move. Okay. Wolf is a closet cleric. I love the cleric class. I openly love the Clara class. I think it's I think it's the one of the best, if not the best class in the game when it comes to overall combat effectiveness. All right, so here's my paladin. Um, just get right up in this guy's face. Could do a pommel strike. Vow of enmity this is my first time using this. We're gonna see what it looks like. So it doesn't cost... Oh, damn. It, it doesn't cost a spell slot, but it does cost a channel oath charge and a bonus action. Um, We're going to use it just so I can... I just want to see what it looks like. Kind of pointless on this target, but... And it's not concentration. Damn. At level 8, when I get Great Weapon Master with this character, he is going to be badass. I'm telling you guys right now. He's going to be an absolute 
badass. We'll do two just in case because I have disadvantage. So Vow of Enmity just goes away after you use it. So really, that's like a really good... You get it once per... Oh no, you get it depending on how many channel divinity charges you have. So I feel like Vow of Enmity is like really good against like a boss or really high HP target. You probably never want to use it on like a mid to low HP target. So it's so costly costing your channel Oath Charge, but it's so good at the same time. I want to take the most advantage of it by casting it on someone that you can hit multiple times. One HP. Who's still alive? What the hell? Where did that thing come from? Are you kidding me? I forgot about divine favor. Weapon attacks deal an additional one to four radiant damage. Requires concentration though. We're not using that. It's only good in certain situations. Not this situation. CK, thank you so much for the 999 super chat. Thank you for all your content about BG3 over the years. Well, thank you for your donation and thanks for watching. That's to me. How you been? Turkey Bird. Hello. Sakara Kit. We got some great names in the chat tonight. Good to see you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. You guys like Star Wars? Because latest episode was great. Wait, what do we got for Star Wars? Is there a show going on right now that's releasing episodes or what? Whoa, dude. That was badass. I mean, that was badass. Alright, Astarian, I need you to come all the way down, my man. Thanks, CK. Oh, okay. Is that on Disney? Or what? What is that on? Disney. I'm a pretty casual Star Wars fan. I don't know much about it. I, mean, I watched all the movies. I greatly enjoyed them. There was actually a time in my life where I thought I was actually getting into it. Just never really did because of time. I was a Lord of the Rings fanboy most of my life. But I like Star Wars though. I like The Mandalorian. Already bored of Starfield. I mean, not really. I want to get back and do the Crimson Fleet quest and a few other things, but... I also just wanted to get back to Baldur's Gate 3, you know? Baldur's Gate 3 is clearly the better game. <laughs> Dude, that is so crazy. Holy crap. Why is Call Lightning... Hold on, wait, wait. Let me look at that again. Call Lightning... Call down more lightning to hit all targets within range. So because of my subclass, I'm getting that knockback effect, the destructive wrath. That's crazy. I am ready. All right, let's go ahead and drop a short rest. Better than nothing. We will drop. Getting a little bit nervous here. Going through the Shadowlands with, without full spell slots. All right, 49 gold, smoke powder bomb, potion of greater healing, and frost prints gives us the ice knife spell. Actually, not a bad spell. 
Sure, we'll take it. I doubt that I'll leave it equipped with anybody. Uh, maybe a Starion, though, because he's wearing the dog collar right now from the Underdark. That's pretty funny. That is pretty funny. Sure, we'll give a Starion the Ice Knife spell. I think it's once per short rest. Once per long rest. 3 to 22 damage. Piercing damage explodes and deals 2 to 12 cold damage. Anyone nearby it leaves an ice surface. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Uh. Oh shit. Now oh. look at this terrain. This is so cool. So anytime you go, what am I I'm running through the vines and I keep doing saving throws? wonder where the Kuotoa area is. There's two semi-hidden Kuotoa areas. One in Act 1 and one in Act 2. Oh wow, looks like you can't jump over there. Okay. I think we're good to get out of here. Don't think I missed anything. I don't know where the hell the orc is, though. The half orc that we're supposed to meet with. Looking ahead. Watch your back. I like having liars on my back. I don't I don't know if I got my location wrong, Shy, but I I feel like on my other run, when I came into this area, there was a half orc character that was right here that introduced me to the drider. I did things in a weird order though on this run, like I did the last light in a long time ago. I just don't know what happened, y'all. We're coming up to the Harper's Ambush right now. Wait, am I? Oh, maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm just getting my locations wrong. No, this looks like the Harper's Ambush. But I already went to the Last Light Inn, so I wonder if that changed up the order. Hold on, I gotta take a poop. Shadowheart gets on top of the porta potty. My half orc's taking a poop. Yeah, this is quite odd. I feel like I might have uh, might have ruined the quest somehow. We might not be getting Minthara on this run. That's curious. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Kill the grove last light still has some people just half empty. If 
Have I been down there yet? No, I don't think I have. Did you play the spider's liar? Uh, I don't, I think you're supposed to play it. Oh. We bring more to your church every day, my queen. Your followers are legion. Well, this is an interesting way to approach this scene. Your faith will stand ready, majesty. Soon, you march. Soon the world will bow to you. Here, where boss? Something moved up there. Want me to drag it out? <clears throat> Hello. What's this? The Drider's eyes cut through the darkness, locking on you as your parasite squirms with excitement. Your minds connect. And you hear a voice whispering to you. The absolute, or just the echoes of his fractured mind reverberating in the darkness. One of your true souls, my queen. How have they survived? Such a cool character. Lady Shar protects me. I do not belong to your queen. There is but one god. She is absolute. Look at us. Oh shit. We have to save scum. We ha we have to have things play out differently than my other run. I didn't think that was going to be instant instant combat. That's pretty cool though. Uh, where'd I get the cool pointy hat? There's actually a lot of wizard hats in this game. If you just search, like, all the wardrobes and the houses that you come across. I don't remember where I got that one specifically. Too many items in this game. Okay, well, let's try that again. Actually pretty cool that that scene comes in differently. Because my playthrough is handled a little bit different than last time. Larian has, like, a trigger. Like, when things don't go a normal way there's still like something that procs these scenes it's crazy like the behind the the programming of this game is just probably Swift insane my feet can carry me Char disapproves. Save scum. Okay, hopefully I get the scene this time with my character, not Shadowheart. Here we go. To your church every day, my queen. Your followers are legion. Would you guys romance Karnas? Yes or no? I won't judge. Your faith will stand ready, Majesty. Soon we march. Soon the world will bow to you. You got some nice hip hip thrusters. Yeah, where boss? No, hard smash. So moved up there. Want me to drag it out? Hello. Why does it keep doing it with... I guess it's doing it with the character that's closest. I have to do it with my stupid hireable now. What's this? The Drider's eyes cut through the nice darkness, turn. locking nice. on you as your parasite squirms with excitement. Your minds connect, and you hear a voice whispering to you. The Absolute... Or just the echoes of his fractured mind reverberating in the darkness. I'm one of your true souls, my queen. How have they survived? 
So lore-wise, for those of you guys that are unfamiliar, driders are basically drow that have been disgraced, that have dishonored the spider queen Lolf, who is the evil goddess of spiders and also many of the drow in the Forgotten Realms. And when you piss her off, she turns you into a drider. Look at the paladin response. I swore an oath, a powerful one. It will take more than darkness to end me. The absolute protected me. You bless them too, my queen. Where is the lantern? I would use the drow Nier's lantern, but it broke. Nier. My fickle, unworthy servant to our queen. Yes, majesty. Your light can shield another of your faithful. They will join us on the road. Am I not going to get a chance to play the liar at all? You try intimidating him. Nah. Thank you. Let's go. They will follow close. Do not leave the light. All right. So we can probably put away our lanterns. What to do? Set F5. Let me take a look at my quest log real fast, though. Moonrise Tower is a popular location, at least for the Cult of the Absolute. Perhaps the Grand Duke was taken there as well. We found cultists bearing a powerful lantern. If we want the lantern, we need to handle the cultists first. We defeated the Harpers and should continue following the Drider. Oh, nice. We don't even have to... I don't think there's going to be any Harpers that are hidden at all. So we reach the Shadow Curse lands. We can use Mentara's instrument to summon a creature to guide us to Moonrise Towers, but we need to find the right place to play it. But I never found the right place. I don't know what that is, but we have the creature that's going to guide us. So hopefully we can still recruit Mentara. I think we probably can. Should mind my step. Trying to keep up, my man. Calm down, brother. Those and heretics, Majesty. But they will stop us. Oh shit! They I think there's sh shadows in this area. We might be into a combat encounter here in a Time second. Time to press ahead. Such a cool part. Never made it this far with the drow. Look at this disgusting, vile creature. You look twitchy, stone skin. Afraid of the dark. In this place, only a fool wouldn't be. Dude, we're going right. They leave us again. We're going across the toll bridge. Kind of hard to follow you, my man. Ten out five, so we don't have to do this journey again. Once to die in the dark. Stay close. The shadows are darkest here. Hungriest here. Look at these things. 
This is a lot of fun. Totally different from my other run. Totally different. I fought my way through all this. I think we're going literally straight to Moonrise Towers. No time to rest. Brother, what are you doing? Get your eight legs moving. There's the tower now, big lad. Your bridge is still clean. My blade is north, north right when east right when toll house, south moonrise towers, west the waning moon. We're close. We're legit at moonrise towers right now. The absolute. Its power is strong here. So just to show you, to tell you guys, oh, I'll let the cutscene play out. New Follow your nose. Rider. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the queen sent them. Her Majesty's flesh grows full and glorious. Move. His thoughts seek yours, searching, grasping. Your parasite squirms in recognition. Disciple Zarel's in the Great Hall. She'll be wanting to see you. Rest of you, head on in. The others will go in, but I will go up. My queen summons me to her chapel to be in her presence. I hear you, sweet majesty. I am coming. My queen. So as I was saying huh? on my other run, if you guys run? if you guys want to watch it, just type in Wolfhart FPS Moonrise Towers Pink. after the stream's over or whatever. Pink. I have a Let's Play episode just dedicated to Moonrise Towers. Actually, I think the first part is like an hour quest that I do before I go to Moonrise Towers. When I came across this bridge for the first time, all of these disciples were waiting for me. Disciples Rel. And right when I got to like right here, it was just instant combat. I killed them, and then I had to infiltrate Moonrise Towers with everybody being hostile to my character. And I remember I went all the way up to the top of Moonrise Towers. The tippity top, there's like a way you can get up there. And I jumped through this little crack in the wall. I stealth jumped my entire team. It was such a fun mission. I'm telling you guys, you should go watch it. Stealth jumped my entire party right over Marcus's head. Literally jumped over his head from like a cliff, from like an opening in the top of the tower. Got my entire team into Moonrise Towers on the top floor. And then I was sneaking around. It was awesome. But this is going to be fun too, to be a friendly. That's what you did too? Plenty of supplies if you're running low, true soul. In her name. Icon behind me, that was probably the fast travel point. One step at a time. First run was similar. Yeah, let me see if I can go up there right now. Really cool. It's actually kind of tough because you have to have like a high strength. Some of your characters can't reach some of the jumps. Um, I think there's a way you can get up the wall over here somewhere. There was before. Oh, interesting. Do they change this? Oh no, you can climb up right here. Oh, I'm gonna go in the bottom uh, on this run. I was just, I just wanted to show off like how, the craziness behind this game, the verticality. And you can jump over here, jump to here, climb up this ladder, get up to the top floor. And there's a couple demons up there or imps. I don't know what the hell they are. They're not demons, a couple fiend creatures. And there's like one little crevice in the wall that you can actually jump through. Okay, let's go through the front door, though. 
because that's what I really want to experience right now. Can't give away the Gift Yankee egg. I don't know who I'm going to be giving it to. Somebody in the city, I believe. Tahira and Harper's helped you raid Moonrise. Dude, that is so different. That is crazy. There can be no doubt. This is the place. This is where we'll discover the secret of the absolute. I feel like I don't need to rest at this moment because I'm in friendly territory, kind of. Another true soul. The disciple will want to see you through the main... Welcome, true soul. The disciple will have work for you. I expect so much to be done. What a jolly character. Bunch of the others were rounded up in the main hall a while ago. They ain't come back. <laughs> you know what's funny is a lot of the voice actors for Baldur's Gate 3 were posting clips on social media of them saying certain lines from the game. And it started spreading like wildfire. And all of the goblin voice actors and actresses also did it too. It was, it was pretty funny. I think Saza posted a clip. Saza's the goblin that's in the Druid's Grove. You know, let's keep the torch out. I feel like I, I can see better. Scrying eye. Yep, I remember coming in here and fighting these creatures too. Moonrise Towers is such a cool place. A moment, true soul. You use a spoon water. to stir the soup, Barnabas. Forget the axe, my darling. <laughs> They're kind of cute. Now, how can I help you? Look, like the music should have changed while I was in here. Uh, Barnabas? I've shown Barnabas a kinder way. A kinder name is only fitting. That is the gift the Absolute gave me when I stood before her. To rewrite the lives of her faithful. Make them believe there's something better. You've actually stood before the Absolute? I have. It is one thing to hear her voice, quite another to feel the power she can grant. Observe. Barnabas, sweetie, come show what a good boy you are. Absolute knows all. What would you like him to do? How about a dance? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you, Barnabas? <laughs> you feel her will surge outwards and envelop the creature, inexorable as the tide. No, Barnabas! We talked about this. Reinforce her efforts with your own. Starion disapproves. Oh, come on, Astarion. The weight of the assault drives the Knoll to his knees, defiance melting away like snow in summer. Dance. <sighs> For all the power she lends us, I am still only an imperfect vessel. Here. I meant this as a treat for Barnabas, but he doesn't deserve it now. You'll do well when you meet the Absolute, I think. You always free the gnolls, they make clutch allies. That's pretty cool. You can free them and then have them fight for you. That's awesome. And how do I get to meet the Absolute? Please, Zarel. And you will be called to ascend to the tower top. Hmm. Many have gone before you. wonder if Zarel's going to give us a quest. not all have returned. I don't think I'm ready to do Moonrise Towers yet because we still have the Gauntlet of Shar and all that content as well. Entertainer. <laughs> Leon is inspired.
to Melia. Can't talk with her. This brings us to the outside. Moonrise Towers. What was her name? It was Lin Linzella. You boys are very good with those cleavers. Something tells me. Oh yeah, I got an inspiration point with my hireling earlier. Jai. They have backgrounds just like just like regular characters do. Oh man, if I only had to speak with animals, let's see if I have a potion. Yeah, I do. Awesome. I have plenty of potions. Holy crap. What the hell? Cat just fell asleep. These are the stalking grounds of Steel Claw, Furless One. Tread lightly. Fortunately for you, the slithering vermin I hunt is my attention. For now. Sorry, your name is Steelclaw? It is a name I earned through bloodshed and death. Unfortunately, the more ignorant here refuse to use it. <laughs> Fluffers, they call me. Idiots. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Phil, thanks for the $20 super chat. How about showing off those elithid powers from those yummy tadpoles? Yeah, next time I get in combat, I'll definitely use them for sure. Thanks, Phil. Appreciate it, man. As always, thanks for everything. Slithering vermin. They're called tadpoles. Their name matters not. Merely their demise. I braved lapping waters and leaking ships to find this prey. I butchered many and will butcher many more. But this one, this one I toy with. I slice, I tear, and when the time is right, I will bite its head off and bathe in its innards. Good luck with the hunt, Steel Claw. Luck is not needed. Merely patience and a thirst for blood. Hunt fast and hunt well. A lot of my lithid powers are also passives with my characters. Um, luck of the Far Realms. When you make a successful attack roll, you can change that hit into a critical hit. Transfuse health. Sacrifice half your remaining hit points. Darion has a bunch of passives too. Oh, I do have more active ones actually than I thought I did. I forgot we put that many points into our tadpoles powers with these characters. Shadowheart is hesitating. She does not want to use Mind Flayer Parasites. Keep your distance, darling. And Kurtz is also hesitating. I don't have any tadpoles right now, though, to, to get more. Repulsor. Push anything and anyone back 20 feet. Force tunnel. Man, look at the animation. And the visual effects. It's so cool. And there's the tadpole right there. They're disgusting, aren't they? All's well that ends. I don't think I've ever been back curve. here before. We're on the back side of Moonrise Towers. Keep going. Steelclaw deserves shade and water with my clan. Being bad feels so good it doesn't matter what they want. It's what you want. Bro. Okay, let's go in the back entrance here. We're just gonna explore all of Moonrise Towers. Mig. It looks like Bertha from Act 1. From outside the Blighted Village. above yeah. yes or no what do you guys moment, think you do hear it flesh sliding on stone like a living being extending through the walls something in the walls what is it Big in walls above maybe Whole tower. Lotus near kitchen. But no. big band. Not allowed to pet 
knows. He has a bad taste. You find meat. <laughs> you share. Bruh, I'll bring back the coconut oil if you're okay with that. Holy crap. Absolutely gorgeous. Hey, here's another wizard hat. Michael was asking about that earlier. You just search all the wardrobes, you'll find wizard hats. I and mean, some of them are good and have like magical qualities or properties, but I've, got a long road ahead. I've never even seen this room before. This is awesome. Hmm. You'd find better lodgings out in the war camp, Trousseau. I know we're all one under the absolute. But you hey, do not want to bunk with an ogre. Um, yeah, I don't really feel like getting into that discussion right now, Nick, but I probably feel the same, similar way to you. Don't mind Meg and her meat sounds. It's just her brain slopping around in her skull. I talked about that a little bit in a video. I don't, one of my videos has cut content in the title and I talk about it a little bit. Stink of dead gods and dust. <gasps> This ruin is scarcely worthy of our absolute. That guy's a straight up badass right there. The barracks. Made with duster. Interesting. Not sure why you'd hang that up. Oh, I thought the chest was outside. Oh, look at that. We're at the door. When we first came up. This is where we came across the bridge, and then we checked over here. And this is another door that you can infiltrate the towers from, blood? if you're sneaky. No, never mind. And this brings us back to the main room. We have a trader. I'm gonna go talk to the trader in a second. Ooh. Before I go down... All right, this is Disciple Zrel. I don't think I want to walk in here just yet. It's my girl. It's Mindara. I think we're okay. I think we can still recruit her. Maybe, maybe not. Even those still breathing, despite everything. All right. So, what door am I in right now? Hold on, I'm a little bit confused. Sorry, I'm bringing the camera everywhere right now. I have no idea where I'm at. Oh, there's the main door right there. Okay. All right, so let's explore this room a little bit. And this was funny when it was just goblins branding asses, but you lot mean business, eh? Oh, uh, a new face come to bask in the light of the absolute. How can I be of service, true soul? Aroa is a halfling from Act 1 in the Goblin Fortress. I remember seeing her throughout the entire game on my other run, too. It's cool how these characters, if you don't kill them, they stick around. A new face we've met before at the Goblin Camp. So we did. And it seems we both have a nose for where the real power lies. I've come to pay proper respect. Should I try pickpocketing, bow, Roa? but the Zentarim prefer to look their business partners in the eye. So the Zentrum have allied themselves with the Absolute? Joaquin's clipped coins? No. Faith is an overflooded market. Transport, however. These faithful folk need some goods moved into the city. Our ships are obliging. Quietly. I like the Zentrum faction. Smuggling. I want in. Oh, true soul. I couldn't burden your spirit with such material concerns. But I'm always happy to trade. Okay. And we got quite a lot of money from wares. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time in inventory right now, but let's see... Um, let's see. I could use some nice heavy armor for Kurtz. I don't know what Minthara's heavy armor is going to be. Minthara might not even be wearing heavy armor, actually. Armor of Devotion. Damn. 18 AC. You get Eternal Devotion. You gain Cat's Grace and increase your Dexterity score by 2 to a maximum of 20. Oh, 
Shit, that's that's the cloth that I have on right now. Silly me. Uh, Eternal Devotion. Recite your oath to regain one channel oath charge. Dude, that's straight up paladin armor. You don't even have to be a devotion paladin, I don't think. That's incredible. I'm absolutely buying that. How much does that cost? 7,000 gold? What? I have the pickpocket rower here. Right, what else do we got? We got 16. Uh, chain mail plus 2 gives us 18. And that's only 1790. Damn, dude. 7,000 gold for that. Minthara is a paladin. Yeah, no, I could steal it. The problem is um, it might end up, it might result in combat of the entire Moonrise Towers, which we don't want right now. Armor Devotion looks, it is definitely way too expensive. I think like maybe four or five K would have been a little bit more reasonable. Speed potions, I crafted like seven of those earlier, Phil. But I could buy more too. Just knock her out. Maybe I will try. You know what, guys? Let's see what we can do. Hold on. Let me just see what else we have here. Sharpen Snare Curus. Very rare medium armor. Add your dexterity modifier to your armor class. Creatures have disadvantage on saving throws when resisting your attacks and spells that inflict restrained. That's kind of cool, I guess. We have Gloves of Cinder Sizzle. Gloves of Crushing. The wearer gains a plus one bonus to unarmed attacks. Nice monk and... Monk gloves, and also... I don't know what I was gonna say. I had something in my head and I forgot it. We have ring mail plus two, which is 16. We don't need that. Bloodied great axe, I don't think I need any of that. Padded light armor, and then hide armor plus two. Okay, so really the only thing that I want is the devotion armor. Uh, maybe a couple scrolls, too. I'll, I'm gonna buy these up. We'll buy up our health potions. Don't need potion. Antidote. I don't think I need that. Um, we'll try stealing maybe one thing. I'll, I'll grab a camp supply pack. Can't go wrong with that on Tactician. I always forget to use elixirs except potions of speed. Maybe I'll buy one potion of invisibility. Sure. It's always good to have that. Cloud kill is a really powerful spell. Cost 900 gold, though. Not worth it. And telekinesis. This makes me think of DOS 2 when I think of tele telekinesis. Let's get rid of that. We'll get rid of that. Oh, I forgot to craft the, uh... The, the cold staff from the Underdark. Oh, you can't control click when you're in here? We'll do that. We could control click everything and add to wares, but I'm not going to sell that much. I'm just going to sell the junk that I can see right here. 400, 387. Severed arm. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. Elder Trune. I don't think there's any use for that. Don't need a toy block. Dawnmaster's Crest. I think we're done with that, too. I don't know if that's even worth much. Um, Arcane Blessing Staff. We'll get rid of Hoppy. We'll get rid of the Gith Yankee Swords. Get rid of the Hand Axes. Although I could throw those. Robe of Summer, resistance to cold damage. There's not enough cold in this game. We don't have a Barbarian, so we get rid of that. Cannot fall prone when traversing icy terrain. I'll hang on to those. Gloves of Baneful Striking. Whenever you deal damage with a weapon, the target receives a 1d4 penalty to its saving throws. Don't need that. Necklace of Elemental Augmentation. Okay. Alright, let's see what we can do now. I have 4k gold. Let's hit F5. Is there any use for poison apples? I don't think so. Alright, do I have... I don't remember with these characters what spells I have. I don't have Minor Illusion. I don't think I have Minor Illusion with any of these characters. Oh, I do. Minor Illusion with my Sorlock. So let's go ahead and put the staff away. And let's see here. I think gems are really only for selling, yes. There's a lot of items that Larian could have probably done more with. Alright, let's see what we can do. Let's take him right here. Put that out. Close the door. Take a Starion. We're gonna put him right over here. We are each of us threads in her design. 
even those we once called monsters. And I'm gonna try to distract. Let's see. Hold on. This is gonna be tough. This is gonna be real tough, I think. been caught red <laughs> oh that's funny the gemless ring i found off a dead refugee in rivington anyone know what the gem fits into in rivington a gemless ring i don't recall any such item i almost had it but i think pickpocketing must cost that an action we could probably fadangle this to get it to work I wonder if I cast darkness over this area. Many Let's try it again. Try it again. I think I can get this. One mind. Put a starry on right here. Let's go ahead and do minor illusion again. Just gotta mess with these characters and their positioning a little bit. I got an idea. Damn, man, this entire room is just... You know what I need to do? I should be using cunning action hide so it uses my bonus action. I feel like I might have this right now. No one back home will ever believe it. Crap. I ruined it.
holy gifted memberships hemlock thanks for the five gifted norman alice sean mick and chris welcome to the channel membership club thanks to hemlock skull to hem thanks man appreciate you hem that was nice of ham hawk me and ham hawk go way back if you guys don't know we go way back all right, let's see if I can figure this out now. So hold on. If we hide Astarian, we want to use cunning action hide. Um, they really make it difficult to pickpocket in this room, though, and I respect that. If I can reach Roa from right here, we might be able to do it. Very, very. Ah. All right, one more time. One more time. One more time. I think I need to back him up a little bit. I wonder if the scrying eye is a big reason. Okay, back to Astarion. Let's back him up a little bit to right here. Oh my god, I don't know. This might this might do it. Oh. I caught red-handed. Hopefully. Okay, alright. We'll come back. Or we try one more time. Fog cloud. I don't know if that will. I don't know if that will set off the enemies or not. Oh, did I have my torch out right there? I might have my torch out. I, I don't know. Hold on. Hold on. Let's let's see what we got here. Hold on. Maybe one more try. Let's turn off everything. The vision cone is crazy. I got an idea. Aha! Totally forgot that we had the potion of invisibility that I crafted earlier. A new face come to bask in the light of the absolute. How can I be a... An honor. Thief's been picking pockets near here. This would be a good moment to explain yourself. I assure you, I've committed no crime. You have a convincing air of innocence about you. That's enough for now. Whoo! Wow. The pickpocket operating nearby. You feel the arrow of suspicion pointing your way. Can you really not put on the item? interesting look at this this donation will make up for whatever was stolen 6500 so it's actually less than the actual total cost of the item itself i think i i tried i tried oh damn it man this is this is tough i should have just i wonder if i should have just left with a star on i don't know how i don't know how like the back end works for for pickpocketing like well she questioned all of my characters or what all right, let's try to talk our way out of the situation. And we will do deception. 
I saw a very suspicious fellow earlier. His pockets were bulging. You serious, Lurian? You know how unlikely it is to roll two two critical failures in one? I was trying to look it up. Alright. It was too much reading, though. Okay. Um, roll again. I'll use all my inspiration on a freaking deception pickpocket check. You gotta be shiting me. We gotta get the hell out of here. Yeah, I got you. I need to get my party out of here. This is crazy. I can't do that anymore. Oh, that's not good. Oh shit, I think it... All right, everybody else, come on. Over here, stay, stay away from Roa. Everybody stay the hell away from Roa. Let me hit F5. Everybody come over here. All right, group up. Group up, y'all. Okay, he's got the armor on. It looks kind of silly with indigo color, but... <laughs> It's kind of funny, a Vengeance Paladin wearing like indigo colored armor, wearing like purple whitey, whitey, pipe, whitey, 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 pippity type, whitey, tight white, tight purple white pants. Can't give up now. It's pretty sweet though. All right, here we go. Oh my God, that is so badass. And my AC went way up. Dude, that looks so sick. Wow, that armor is incredible. An eternal devotion. Recite your oath to regain one channel oath charge. I really want to try this. How many channel oath charges do I have at level seven? Let's try it. I think I have one channel oath. I think I have two channel oath charges in total. Could be wrong, but let's see what happens. Okay, I didn't do anything. Oh, I thought there would be like a audio recital of the oath. That would have been real cool. All right, let's stay away from Roa. Somebody's got Warding Bond active down here. Oh, Death Ward. Death Ward looks the same as Warding Bond. Be a deer and strike me deaf. Our guests are especially sobby today. Best be on my way. All's well here. The cargo from below has already been taken to the docks. She looks kind of like. All's well here. What's her name? The cargo. The Gith Yankee. Sarth Baretha. She looks a little bit like her. Don't get too close to the prisoners. They're desperate enough to try anything. Clean down here. You'll find it all the harder once we're off on the mark. If you think I'm walking all the way to Falter's Gate without a litter, you don't know me at all. Yep. Never been to the docks before. All new content for me. Still alive, so that's progress. Enjoy the view. This feels like a stretch all the way to the Sea of Swords. Feels like it stretches all the way to the Sea of Swords. I think that's what he was about to say. Look busy or they'll set you lifting too. 
Whatever's <laughs> inside's heavy. Yeah, I appreciate that guy. Looking out for a fellow peasant. Except they're not a peasant. You're lucky I'm at Moonrise Towers, otherwise I would have shoved you into the water. Actually, I might shove him into the water. You know what? I am actually highly offended that he would assume that I, my dragonborn, Leon, from the planet of a beer, would ever even entertain to pick up something in service of another. You gotta be shitting me. Alright, let's get this guy back here. See if he comes back. Because he ain't gonna be alive for too long. Oh, look at the cat hole. So I wonder if you can get to the docks as a way to sneak into moon. Oh, he's coming back. Okay, perfect. All right. Well, he won't be alive for that long. Uh, Kurtz, take care of business for me. Thank you, sir. Reporting for duty. Thank you, Kurtz. Can you believe that guy? Can you believe that guy? I appreciate, you know, what that guy was trying to do. But assuming that I'm a peasant. Does not fly with my character. I'm afraid you missed the ship through so. But there'll be another along soon enough. We're already stacking the cargo. Where are the ships heading? Baldur's Gate. The army marches over land. But we sent some friends ahead to smooth the way. And why does the Absolute want to make war with the city? Locals need to see her truth. Take their place in her design. Or they don't, and we send them to meet the old gods they cling to. Doesn't matter much either way. What cargo are they bringing? Nothing of note. Just supplies for the battle ahead. I've already checked it twice over. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Then you won't mind stepping aside and letting me look, wise guy. The presence deep in your mind is awake, unblinking. This is it. A single word pervades your consciousness. Soon. As you bear down on his mind, you feel a pulse in response. A thousand pulses, echoing from the nearby crates. Tadpoles. His mind had rejected the knowledge, forced it behind a mental wall. A wall you just took a hammer to. W worms. Worms in their heads. Hey, Oliver. Worms all over. Can't believe you didn't explore everything on your first playthrough. Well, one of the reasons why I don't do that. Well, the first reason was because it was a let's play. So I was trying to move things along. The second reason is the second playthrough is like eight times more fun with, with content still left to be explored. Like, I feel like I'm playing for a first time again right now. It's great. A guard duty's boring. You're letting your imagination run away with you. Parasites. Worms. Eighty-five percent. Act three it was a nostalgia moment to see old Baldur's Gate companions. I know, right? I agree. Move on. Okay, hold on. Before I go over there, let me come down here. We're doing everything. Feel free to haul a few boxes. We need all the hands we can get. What did you just say to me? Did he just? Kurtz. What? Take care of business. Yes, sir. These things have stayed interesting. Shadowheart, what? Get the hell out of the way. Yes, sir. Kurtz pushed Zealot into lake. 
Zelotka. <laughs> okay. All right, that takes care of that. I'm gonna stop making fun of Kurtz. Just because he's a half orc, it doesn't mean he's dumb. Okay. But Kurtz is actually pretty dumb. I have to keep going. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. It's who he is. She didn't deserve that either. Did you not hear what she said to me? Whoa! Oh my god! This... This is... Okay! Are you, so this is bringing us... Back to the Shadow Cursed area. Uh oh. 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 Oh shit, I can't go out here without the Moon Lantern. But anyways, this is... This must be the way that you can infiltrate Moonrise from the docks. Pretty cool. I wonder if this is near the toll house. It is. So the back side of the toll house can get you to the docks of Moonrise Towers. How cool is that? Okay, let's get back into the safety. That's pretty awesome. That's actually really, really cool. There's like a zillion ways you can handle Moonrise Towers. Stop me yet. Made three characters without finishing my first playthrough. That's okay. Ask Don. Don, are you in the chat? Tell everyone how many characters you made before you pushed on past halfway through Act 1. <laughs> That's the way you got in the first time. That's cool. Hey, Greenblood, what's up? Still finishing Act 2 and already broke down and created another character. Did you break down because you didn't like the way that it was going or something? Because you can always respec, right? I see Miles took took a bit of a dive. Good riddance. He deserved it. <laughs> Whatever he did. Are you much of a swimmer, my friend? No, true soul. Not I. Too busy doing my job. Which... I'll get back to, I. There we go. That is a faithful servant of Leon right there. I respect that. That's a worker that I will let live. Hey, it's the last light in the moonrise. My first character. Made a second one tonight. I'll make a third one. Nice. Yeah, no, no sense in rushing, man. We only get Baldur's Gate 3 once in our life, right? Hey, maybe we'll get a Baldur's Gate 4 at some point. Interesting. Why is there... Okay. Apparently Larian wants us to go out here. Or they don't. For a minute, I thought it was going to be explorable. It's not, though. I don't think it is. This definitely looks like a place where a chest would be or something. Baldur's Gate 4, 2035. That'd be pretty hype. What do you think Sven will work on next? Next Divinity game? Moving ahead. All right, so um, hold on. These are all the cargo. This is that. Just want to make sure I don't miss anything out here. Ooh. Oh! Hurts. You know what to do. Oh, 
no, I didn't mean to do that. Yes, I did. No, I didn't mean to do that. But I did it. Time to push my luck again. No, what? No. You're not going to let me push him off the edge? Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, so much for pace. This guy actually has 90 HP. He's kind of a badass. Seriously, a star on? This way. Divinity 3 would be a disappointment after this? I don't think it would, because I think they would do Divinity 3 in the Baldur's Gate 3 style. And they, of course, wouldn't make Divinity 3 a continuation of Divinity Original Sin Just 2. Like because that wouldn't be too smart. Because. There's so many new Larian Studios fans that haven't played the Divinity series after BG3. They would probably make their next Divinity game connected to Divinity 1 and 2, but not like an actual sequel. So I think they could do a really good job. And people might like it a lot more because it seems like a lot of people really like the combat system in Divinity where you have like multiple actions in one turn. That might appeal more to a general uh, general audience. Missed with advantage with sneak attack. Unbelievable. Screw it. Damn, man. Hex with Scorching Ray. So good. So, so good. Yeah, it doesn't let you push him in, in, into this part of the lake. My first successful Divine Smite. I need ham. Let's go. And heavy armor too. No Shadowheart needs that. What a day it's been. Okay, so Shadowheart's 19 AC right now. That makes her 20. Tempest Cleric for the win. All right. Let's go ahead and might be time to take a long rest. Look at all the mind flayer a parasites parasite. in here. Take it. It might be useful. That's what I was looking for. Holy crap. There's three dead ones. Sending the tadpoles to the city. Disgusting. Okay, one and two. Thank you, thank you. Let's go ahead and eat those suckers right now. That's for damn sure. All right, so I have two tadpoles. I think we're going all out with a Starion first. What else can I take? Oh, my bad. So earlier I got confused and I thought I took the ones that are lit up. It's the ones that are grayed out are the ones that I've taken. So with a Starion, I wonder when we're going to unlock this later tier. Perilous Stakes, invest a creature with the power that heals it when it attacks, but also makes it vulnerable. Vulnerable to all damage. Conjure a volatile shield around yourself or an ally, granting the target 10 temporary hit points. If these 10 hit points are lost due to incoming damage, the shield bursts, possibly stunning nearby foes. 30 foot range on it. Conjure a shield. 10 temp HP. If it breaks, possibly stuns nearby foes. That's actually pretty sweet. You can only have temporary hit points from one source.
Creatures suffering falling damage because of your actions take an additional 1 to 8 psychic damage. Considering that I'm going to have Repelling Blast with my Sorlock, that actually might not be a bad idea. But how often do you actually knock enemies off ledges, though, is the question. To get that 1 to 8. Oh! I already took Repulsor. Okay. Let's take luck of the Far Realms. It's too good to pass up. Awesome. The Starion finally looking like an Illithid. Oh, he is! Guys, look! Look at the Starion's body. Wait, is this because he's dirty? Nope, never mind. I think that might be because he's dirty. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it is partially from using the Illithid Tadpole powers. And he's dirty? I don't know. But it looks like it's starting to take effect. Can't tell on my Dragonborn. He already looks like he's infected. God, I love that cloth. All right. What now? Okay, and we got a potion of mind reading. Greater healing. A purple worm toxin. And let's go ahead and take a long rest. Skull, Keats, how are you? People are saying that a long rest will kill Minthar if you don't deal with her right now. Apples don't do anything that affect the story in a significant way. You don't, you don't see a cosmetic and story consequence until you accept the tadpoles from the Emperor. Okay, alright. Thorkadin Tempest Cleric Sorcerer. Nice. Spore Druid Necromancer. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's go see if Minthara is still alive. If not, we just reload. I'm playing on Tactician Kit. It's part of the Tactician difficulty. Still gotta explore the rest of this tower, but before I do that, let's make sure Minthara is still okay. Some things are timed in this game, other things aren't. Like meeting with Gortash in Act 3, like you can do it whenever you want, he doesn't like go away. Or the coronation ceremony. Um, yeah, I think, um, wait, where's the room? No, no, Minthara is still good. Okay, alright, we're good. Okay, back into the, back into the basement, one thing at a time. All right, have a good night, Gold. Only for RP do they matter? Yeah, I wish Larian put more into that. I knew there wasn't like any significant game-changing effects, but I didn't think that, I thought that the uh, visual powers or the visuals would come into effect before the end of the game, but fair enough. All right, so what do we, we explored that, that's the room to the docks, so let's go down here. No one stopped me yet. God bless. This place is disgusting. Did you request this post too? I'm glad I got the warden and not Zarel. Don't get chatty with the prisoners, mind you. The warden won't like that. Artie's face rolling everything on balance difficulty. How much harder is Tactician? Probably not that much harder. If you're face rolling at normal, you should be fine on Tactician. Wouldn't worry about it. Oh my god. It's Wolbrin. It's Wolbrin. So Wolbrin is the gnome that Barkus Root is looking for. This is Barkus Root's friend. And Barkus Root is the deep gnome that's stuck on the windmill in the Blighted Village in Act 1. Nimble. Check for gaps, cracks, anything to leverage. Your conversation has been cut short. These prisoners are for Disciple Balthazar's attention. Only. All right. My apologies. You've been let off with a warning. Damn, they really don't let you. I got a charlatan point for that. Really don't let you talk to the prisoners. That's crazy. 
Elthazar is a crazy character in this game. Now, what do we got here? Wait, is that where I came? No, this isn't where I came across. This game is blowing my mind right now. As the warden. Hmm. You spark of the familiar. Do I know you, true soul? Hmm. Perhaps not. Your face is rather bland. Whatever your business, a warning. None may speak to the prisoners. Disciple Balthazar was most clear. Place is terrifying. Um, will detect thoughts get me in trouble? Only one way to find out. Gently probe the warden's mind. Your mind swirls with information about the prison. The small levers behind the warden's desk open every cell, while the larger one triggers the alarm. And interesting items confiscated from prisoners lie above the warden's office, just up the ladder. Dude, there's so if much content in this stare, game. Kindly do it elsewhere. As I said, you are free to roam where you wish, but do not speak to the prisoners. Like Moonrise Towers at this point is like a completely different game for me. Why ban speaking to prisoners? Disciple Balthazar has plans for them. And were I you, I would not get in the way. I'm actually not playing as the Dark Urge, Jessica. Just just playing as a white dragonborn. I do gotta do a Dark Urge playthrough at some point. It just takes so much time. Ooh, do not disrespect me. I'm a true soul. Oh, dear. Does someone think they're important? You are small, true soul. Insignificant. And above all, replaceable. Do not forget that. Okay. Look at all the levers here. Now, my character, for those of you guys that haven't been following the series, as my last stream on this run was like two weeks ago. You can watch them all, though. They are on, under the live streams tab on the channel homepage. My character is doing whatever he can to get as much power as he possibly can. And right now, the absolute is the way for him to achieve power and destroy his people. Because he doesn't like other Dragonborn. So... You know, freeing the prisoners really isn't something that my character would be interested in doing at this moment. My character is more so interesting and interested in moving up the ranks of the Absolute to see what type of power that that brings him. Um, let's go up here. Hope that's locked. Because of rising. Now, if I came down here with my other character we would have freed everybody in here and it would have been awesome oh shit time to explain yourself or this guard will be restricting you to a cell your words are enough let's not try that again didn't even let me up there okay well there's probably a lot of good stuff up there all right let's carry on yeah it's so crazy like even on my good playthrough, like the way it played out for me, I didn't, I didn't really even come to the the prisons. I was, I was fighting Catherick Thorn before I knew it because I infiltrated the tower from the top. Don't speak to the prisoner. You just say to me, work. Okay, let's go check it out over here now. If I can get over here, I think I can. Oh, wow, you can't actually. You can, but you can't. It's through that locked door. I wonder if this is a restricted area. Whoa. Oh my god. Dude, you can, we can jump into it right now? Kurtz. 
Wonder if the gods are Jump down me. that hole. Oh, you got it, boss. Right beneath the towers. What the hell is this? The colony this place? must be close. Oh my god. That must god. be where the tadpoles are coming from. Dude, the order that you can do things in is crazy. This is crazy. something on the other side no way through from here though you know what saddens me though is like 70 percent of baldur's gate 3 players will have no idea like they won't even be able to fathom how much content is in this game they won't even know the game that they just played because they'll never do another playthrough or they'll never even think too deep Hukora. on it because they're not used to playing games like this wonderful oh my god dude there's hook horrors that oh shit Hey, Catherac, what's up? Easy Peach, what's up, man? How you doing? Hope the streams are doing well. Catherac shouldn't be down here yet. Oh, Kit. Oh, you didn't say Catherac. <laughs> we have a wonderful member of our community named Catherac in Canada. I thought you were talking about Catherac. 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 Catherac Thorm. All right, well, let's... Um, I don't know if I... I think I'm going to bring the rest of my party down here. Because this doesn't seem to be the same place as the you-know-what that I don't want to spoil yet for people that haven't... that are watching this playthrough for the first time. <sighs> sure, we'll bring the entire team down. Moonrise Towers. The end of Act 2 is such a surprising moment. Damn, how much damage? Do I have to feather fall? I don't know if I want to use a potion of- we have a scroll of feather fall. There we go, I have plenty. Spoil what? What the hell is this place? Oh, that took the edge off. I think there's no way up. Oh, we have a way. Can we get over here? Have to keep going. Check this out real fast. Never wanted the easy path. Al orange die. Harp shaped pen. Apparently some harpers were sent down here <laughs> to die. Oh. Zealot Chris. Yeah, we got another Mind Flare Temple! Neutrality, hello. I am back to BG3. Thanks for stopping it. It's such a gross area because every time you walk, you can hear the squishy sound beneath you. True. True, true, true. You know, Shy, you're smarter than you look. You know that? Gotcha. Hold on, before I loot this character. Oh, once you speak with the dead once with the amulet on, you can take the amulet off and then still recast it. Hey. The corpse regards you lifelessly. 
I like your approach to no save scumming. The streams have had some very bad, but actually, I have been save scumming on this character, Easy Peach. My my Let's Play series, my first run of the game, no save scumming at all. Roll with the flow, but on this run, I have been save scumming because I want to make sure that things play out differently from my first run. I'm not safe scumming everything. I'm safe scumming things that will change the outcome of, of the evil path that I'm trying to experience right now. Sal is back, taking back my gift. <laughs> Who are you? And what happened to you? So absolute ascending. And what do you mean ascended? Left flesh joined with her. Hmm. What happens to the bodies of those that ascend? Discarded, devoured. Uh, you didn't ascend. You, you just died, dude. The corpse remains silent. That was more of a comment than a question, really. <laughs> and what is this place? The absolute change. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Yeah, so a lot of spells, Larian fixed this with a lot of items. Like, you used to be able to, like, put on a sword that, like, the Sword of Tear that lets you have less. Wait, does the Sword of Tear give you whatever? You used to be able to put on a sword, and if that sword came with a special spell like Bless, you could cast Bless, take off the sword, and then put on a different sword. Or put on a weapon that actually fits your character. You can no longer do that. But some items you can still do it with. Like Speak with the Dead. Cast it once, take it off, and then you have uh, the recast ready to go. So actually, like, after I take a long rest, I should get into the habit of just casting Speak with Dead on the first character that I see, switch to my other necklace, and then I always have it ready for that, At least things for that particular day. Speak of the Dead stays on until a long... No, no, I know it stays on until a long rest. What I'm saying is I took off the item that gave me Speak with Dead. And with some items in this game, when you take the item off, the spell goes away. That's what I'm talking about. I know that you can recast it. You just never know what's going to happen with an item. Okay, let's go kill this... Uh, I guess I guess we have to kill the Hook Horror. I kind of like Hook Horror. Where is the Hook Horror? Wait, hold on. Where the hell am I right now? Oh, here we go. Keith. You see me playing this game for many years to come. Keith, I don't know how long you've been here at the stream, but pretty much like 80% of the stream is content that I didn't know existed. It's crazy. Okay. All right, we're fighting the Hakor, so let's see if we can... Couple hook horrors here. These guys are level what? Level four? That shouldn't be too hard. Oh, I'm not even using a two-handed sword right now. Oh shit, I should be using the Gith Yankee. Oh, there it is. All right. Didn't even know that I was using. I mean, that's a great sword. It's a great one-handed sword.
Javelin. Yeah, I heard about some of the items that return to your hands, which is pretty cool. Maybe makes for like a couple throwing builds with some high strength characters. Posers on YouTube react to the OST. That's pretty cool. I'll have to check out that content. I love Larian's composer. One of the best out there. Got to meet him too when I was in Belgium. Super nice guy. Highlight of my trip. extra attack. been cool if they put like a weapon crafting system in the game i i would have guessed that we were going to have one with all the workbenches that we saw i don't know if i went i don't know if i looted that goblin in the other room did i i used speak with i was worried that if i looted the goblin i wouldn't be able to use speak with dead let me go back real fast if not over then through xbox release from what i heard today was going to be september october i think is what the latest news or excuse me, maybe October, November. Some article went out today that was talking about an interview that Sven was in. Might have been October, November. I think that's what it was. Gamer Stuff, number two. Thanks so much for the 1999 Super Chat. It's always great to watch BG3 Professional do his thing. I don't know if I'd call myself that, but thanks. Gamer Stuff, appreciate it. Way I hoarded the ingots? Me too. I hoarded all of that stuff thinking in Act 3 we'd be able to go like, to a blacksmith and then use it for something. Then you find out there's nothing to use it for. You just sell it. It's just dead weight. Thanks, gamer stuff. Good to have you back. All right, did I loot this goblin? I didn't. See, it's a good thing I came back. Superior, oh wow. All the items that that goblin has are good. Grease bottle, superior potion, potion of speed, and gold. Yeah, I can't wait to wait. I can't wait to make it to act three and be able to do all the side content on this live stream. Wrong way. Place is confusing. Hoping for a full craft. Yeah, maybe I'll come at a later time. Yep, you're hoarding them for no reason. At least I haven't found a use for them, Tammy. You can probably just sell them. Nor did the writing deserves a raise. I read most of the books I found, and it's actually kind of worth it. I shouldn't have wished to live in more Valerian has a times. huge team of writers, so they probably all deserve credit. Now, how about Larian's writing game and how much it's stepped up since DOS 2? Pretty incredible, right? Adam Smith is the lead writer. I met him too. Really, really nice guy. Really nice, chill guy. I was about to leave. I remember there's so many Larian employees are just so it? good. So they're just so, such genuine people. I remember I was about to leave and I was going to shake. I was going to shake Adam's hand. We, we, we went out to some bars one night, the last night, and just had a few drinks with some of the Larian crew, Sven included. And I remember I was about to leave and I was just shaking hands because I didn't want to. I didn't want to, you know, force hug people. And Adam was like, no, nah, man, bring it in. Give me a hug. Appreciate all you did for the game. Like, it was just so nice of him to say that. And I'm, I'm here appreciating him. He shouldn't be appreciating me. But uh, Larian was just so appreciative of the community. The wolf pack um in my channel as well which was super cool so i guess this brings us back up okay so this brings us right back into the prison interesting the let me go back down and out. just check one more thing plot twist i am adam <laughs> I, you know i would believe it i could see adam trolling with a different name 
Okay, that's it. We did everything in here. Wait, is that a room that we can get to? Hold on. Hold on. Why is there all of this? Let me go back out one more time. Sorry, y'all. Larian is just full of a lot of genuinely nice people that actually care about their game and they care about the community. Everybody's really humble too, like nobody was acting like they're the shit. Sven wasn't acting like he was the shit. And Sven is the shit now, especially after BG3. Alright, so what is this? Is there a way to get over there? Has anybody been down here? Does anybody know? It looks like there's like something and you can hear stuff going on over there. You know what? This other area might be part of the later part of Moonrise Towers. I bet you it probably is. Can't go down yet? Okay. Uh, yeah, that's probably part of the end of Act 2. And I won't spoil it. Okay, back up we go. Yep, Larian is just full of a lot of cool employees, and you can you can usually spot when people are putting on an act for something. And you know, of course, I had to think about that when I was over there because I am a content creator, so my experience when I meet Larian and see the studios obviously will be reflected to my community, and I have a fairly large Baldur's Gate 3 community now. So Larian, of course, would think of that, but I don't think it was on their minds. I think it was just... Anything. They were just being themselves, and you can really, you can really feel that. I didn't have a feeling that anybody was hiding anything. Didn't have a feeling that I was being taken out just because they wanted to. Like it, it just, it's a good company. That's curious. What's that? And I went over there on crutches because my knee, my knee is, my knee is a fucking, it's getting worse now. It's crazy, man. This year sucks. I haven't been able to walk basically since April. Uh, I went over with, on crutches and they were just so accommodating, like trying to make sure that everything was fine for me. They set up like a special ride for me and most other content creators didn't have that. And I think it's mostly just because I was handicapped at the time. <laughs> I don't think it was because of my channel specifically, but they're really accommodating for that stuff. It was like one area, um, one area where they're doing a presentation where there's no elevator. You have to go upstairs. I remember Larry and a couple of people at Larry were messaging me like, we're going to get a, we're going to try to get like four or five guys together and we're going to lift you up the stairs to get you to the top part for the, for the presentation or whatever. I was like, I, I can make it upstairs, y'all. I, I know how to use my crutches, but the fact that they even thought of that was just, like, super cool. Okay. Wow, look at this. I'll tell you what, that actually fits the RP. You know why? You know why that fits the RP? Oh, shit. The reason why it fits the RP is because when I was at Grimforge, I remember I told you guys my Dragonborn has a soft spot for gnomes. And he has like this urge to take care of gnomes and make sure they're not picked on. With that said, I can't let the entire Moonrise Towers go hostile on me. So let's kill these guys real fast, and then let's see if I'm if I'm hostile up top or not. We're gonna do speed combat. You ready? Because none of this, all of this might not matter right now. Need to 
Stay focused. Damn, I don't have Spirit Guardians prepared right now. How the hell do I not have Spirit Guardians prepared? Am I crazy? Apparently I am. Tempest Cleric for the win. Go for the throat. Damn, that was a lot of damage, actually. Okay. <laughs> Congrats, James. That's awesome. I agree. Definitely in my top games of all time, too. You can kill everyone in the prison without aggroing upstairs. That's what I'm hoping. Because then we can RP this out. We can RP this out as my Dragonborn overcame his lust for power and wanted to save the gnomes. Um, okay, that wasn't very nice. Shit, I have my torch out again. You gotta be kidding me. Abjure enemy. I only have one ch one oath charge, and I think I want to use Vow of Enmity. But we don't have a bonus action. Do I want to use Vow? On the Warden, probably. Frightened enemy would be easier to hit and cannot move. 35% chance, that's not going to do us much. Okay. An aura of protection. You and nearby allies gain a plus three bonus to saving throws. Cleric spells sometimes randomly switch just to mess with you on a long rest. That's pretty funny. Damn, man, this blinded's not not nice. Wonder if I can. Sh I don't think I'll be able to shoot. Yes, I can. Let's go, baby. Good stuff, Astarian. I'm proud of you, buddy. Very proud of you. Not today, Miss Warden. All right, it might be time for some Malefic Tadpole powers. Keep forgetting that I have those. Hey, Sin. True, grateful that they're releasing for Xbox. It's great, isn't it? I'm so happy that everybody gets to play this game. All right, push anything back 20 feet. Repulsor. We don't want to do that. Force Tunnel. Probably don't want to do that with a Sorcerer either. All right, do we have Hex on one of these enemies? I thought I cast Hex. Do, do, do. I do. I have it on the warden. So let's target the warden. Hexmock version's coming out this year. I think that's the plan. I thought I read an article earlier that said October, November. It might have said September, October. Was what they were thinking. Starting your good one next week, Will? Nice. Damn, man, I'm dazed. Come on. All right, let's get up here. Immobile, too. What the hell? Sluggardly. I'm frightened. The warden is a paladin. Okay, ready? Abjure enemy. Here we go. Please work. 
Oh man. Damn, dude. Abjure enemy can be resisted. That really puts a crank in my toot with the vengeance, Pally. I didn't realize it was a wisdom save. All right, let's do a compelled duel. Nice. Compel an enemy to attack only you. It cannot attack other creatures. Probably already attacking me anyways. That's a restoration. True. Too late for that. <laughs> nice to have a paladin front line though I'll tell you that much I will tell you that much all right she's hiding so really now really now See ya. Can we get on the boat too? Go, go, go. The Iron Hand gnomes thank you. Ha. Your sacrifice will be remembered. Hell yeah. See you, Walburn. That's really cool. Got a heart tempest. Yeah, I'm happy that uh, we're doing tempest right now. Should be fine, Jesus. Okay. Yeah, cranking my toot. Never heard that before, Shaq. I've put 600 hours in the BG3. I beat the game three times. <laughs> I may have a problem. Well, you know, life could be worse, man. Right? I, for one, am proud of you. Have to keep going. I could have done call lightning. Uh oh, invisible. Oh, that ain't good. That puts a crank in my toot. What? Are you serious? Oh, yeah, we gotta start using. Um, we gotta start. We gotta start using create water with shadow heart I haven't done that combo yet dude where did this chick go oh crap the scry no the scrying eye that might actually that might be a problem oh she went all the way in the corner oh dude I haven't even been looking at my HP I thought this was this fight was a breeze now I gotta get serious? Okay. Okay. Haha. -ha. Uh oh. We got a bit of a problem here, folks. We got a bit of a problem. Oh shit, that's not good. Trying to use a throwing weapon. Might have to drink a potion. Don't want to use a superior potion. Oh, I can't. Cannot regain hit points because the arrow, arrow of Ilmeter. You gotta be absolutely shiting me. One HP? 
This can't be true. Another fight. Let's go. Dude. We gotta we actually have a problem right now. Like we actually have a problem with these scrying eyes. I didn't realize these thing had these things had so many freaking resistances. Thank you so much for the $5 super chat. This game is absolutely amazing. So many different choices. As a result, so many ways to beat the content. Very true. Thank you. But it was hard for me because the gnomes and tieflings kept getting in the way. Hopefully the scry and I didn't like alert anybody up top. Skull to Leda. Dude. What was that about you guys telling me that I was fine? Is this a joke right now? Dude, I gotta go straight up try hard right now. These guys are, we got two full HP guys coming in. Piercing damage against this entity is halved. What about cold damage? Cold damage is halved. Paladins here. That's not good. That's really not good. Dude, these guys are crazy down here.
You know, I keep forgetting to use as aid. I should be using that. I got to get into the habit of doing that. your enemy is active on me right now. damage freaking nutty man still breathing despite everything keep forgetting i got hunter's mark that's the whole point of uh the whole damn point the vengeance pally
don't know if I want to charge or if I want to get her to come in. I literally was walking away like I killed, like I killed her. Holy crap, dude. Moonrise guards key. Well, this means that we can now get this actually might be pretty good. This means we can now get all the loot down here. You know what I'm saying? As long as they're not hostile up top. I don't know if the scrying eyes communicated that or what. Spell crux amulet. Reminds me of a horcrux. Replenish an expended spell slot of any level. That's kind of nice. It's like having arcane recovery. That's actually a really good. That was on the warden. It's actually a really good necklace. And actually, you can just use it and then take the necklace off. So this is a great, great item right here. That's a great item. Guess I'll double check these guys. Any level spell slot too. That's incredible. All right. So hold on. The gnome's left. I don't think we have anything to do over here. Oh, look at this. There's a whole... Jeez. Dude, this never ends. My party definitely needs to take a long rest. What happens if you jump on the boat with the gnomes? Can you? Actually might need that. Yeah, so like for example, let's just put the necklace on right now. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like. Spell slot restoration. We were, we were, oh my God. We restore a freaking, this crazy dude. Recover a level five spell slot, level six. I don't have those though, cause I'm playing multi-class. What happens if I do level six when I don't have a level six spell slot? Nothing happens. <laughs> interesting. It's interesting that that was offered, but I don't have level six spell slots. But yeah, then we could technically just put the other amulet back on. Let's hit F5 just in case I get into another combat. I know I have to take a long rest. Mm, what's that? You know what? Might as well take the long rest. I don't want to waste time though. We'll take the long rest right now. You got that necklace for Gale? Did you get it from the same character, Shy? Yeah, and you could probably use that in combat, too. I didn't read, but I don't think it said you can't use it in combat, did it? Does it use an action? Doesn't say anything about combat. It doesn't say anything about costing an action. Yeah, that's a really, really good, good necklace. Holy crap. Like, you can be in, like, an, 
level 12 battle and just replenish a level 6 spell slot. Alright, I'm putting on some clothes, brother. What the hell, man? Bonus action? Okay. Whoa, auto select 200? The hell's wrong with that? Oh yeah, if you're wearing it in combat, you'd have to put it on. But it might be worth wearing it in combat, because it probably would cost an action to put it on. Is that True. Blood? No, never mind. Come on guys, leave. Two hundred supplies. Extra hungry. Okay. Hey, Team Marie. This is another... More prisoners. Oh, really? It's a, Oh, it's immune to slashing. Do we have any hammers? Always good to carry a blunt weapon with you. Warhammer might work. Or my fists. Okay, I guess I'll just be a straight-up badass. Holy crap. Eldritch Blast? Who needs Eldritch Blast when you got a half orc in your group? Wonder if the gods are watching me. Did you beat the game yet, Team Marie? How far are you? There's so many people in this community that like weren't ever interested in Baldur's Gate 3 that are playing it now or weren't initially like that aware of it. I think they think you were one of them, right, Team Marie? Because you didn't have a way to play early access. And like Carly, for example, I never thought Carly was going to be playing Baldur's Gate 3 and she's loving it. I love to see that she's playing it now. Have that she's able to play it. And, well, in it. And we got shy with her new PC going off. Ever played DOS 2 and I'm loving BG3? That's great. I hope Larian Studios gets some great DOS 2 sales from BG3, and I'm sure they will. You sell one good game, then people start looking at your past products. The Mini Original Sin 2 is a great... Oh, shit. Is a great game. But after playing Baldur's Gate 3, if you're not familiar with this genre, you might not feel that way because it's a step back in terms of cinematics and writing and a lot of different systems. But I think a lot of people will like it. Been a fan since the original Divinity series? Holy crap, Keats. I'd have to go back and play those sometime. That'll be fun. Can you even play the old Divinity games? Still, two hour, two k hours in the DOS too. That's crazy. Thirty three. Was that even possible? Had that many bonuses? Certainly. The warden's office. The wearer gains a plus one bonus to spell save DC while threatens. It's all right. Crap disarm toolkit. Shoes. Wolbrin's hammer. Wolbrin was that gnome. Oh, that's cute. One to four damage. Is that it? That's up here? Did I get everything? I like how you can pick up little individual items, kind of like the Elder Scrolls. Then we have invasion plans for the Sword Coast. 
A map of the Sword Coast from the Sea of Moving Ice to just north of Am, including several of the near archipelagos in the Sea of Swords. A large red, red arrow stretches out from the east and branches into numerous small arrows fanning out across the land to signify the Absolute's planned conquest. We are true heroes in this game, unless you embrace the Absolute, which I might be. Got the entire place. DOS 1, $15. No, I haven't played DOS 1. I'd like to do it sometime. Sometime when we have some dead time on the channel. Maybe next year, at the end of this year. All right, let's head back up. I think I explored everything down here. Moving in. That was quite the experience, and I'm happy that I jumped down that hole. Or we had Keats jump, or Keats, not Keats. Kurz jumped down that hole. Keats is in the chat. I would never have you do that, Keats. So much content. There is one area that we haven't seen yet, though, and that's over here to the right. Okay, nice. Yeah, nobody's hostile towards me. Perfect. A new face. Do as the warden says, when she says, and you'll be fine. Plant one foot in front of the other. Head forward. Back straight. All right, because you guys have been hanging out for so long, we'll go do the Minthara scene right now. I was thinking about ending the stream and then doing the Minthara scene on the first, at the first part of tomorrow's stream or whenever I stream again, probably tomorrow. But you guys have been hanging out here for a long time, so. Let's go see what that's all about. F5 again. Nobody's hostile towards us. Perfect. Here we go. I will not be slandered. General, welfare fans will jump into a hole. You know it's not my fault. The facts suggest otherwise. You were ordered to retrieve the artifact. You failed to do so. If I had been given drow warriors instead of goblin trash, oi! <laughs> what? <laughs> That's great. Sprang. Enough. A blast of mental energy washes over you, filling the room. Your tadpole squirms, urging you to obey. Let me make sure I understand this. You're claiming that General Thorn gave you the wrong soldiers. Yes. No! You blame the Absolutes chosen for your failure. Of course it is not the General's fault. Whose then? Wow. We can influence Minthara to admit her or to force her to admit her guilt, mentally influence Zrel, make her show Minthara mercy, or try to force your will on Catherick, push him to declare Minthara innocent? I don't think that's a good idea. I would love to create a save point and then try him. I feel like the Catherick one's gonna be like a 99 roll or something like, this. something that forces you to get a, a nat 20. Let's go ahead and try Zrel. Let's make her show Minthara mercy. Well, I, I'm kind of curious how these all play out, but let's try again. Definitely keeping Minthara in our group. So no matter what happens, I will save Scum to get her. Zarel's mind is a steel trap, but you cautiously ease your way in. You just need to shift her focus a little. I'm being unkind. Anyone might have struggled with such imperfect tools. Goblins are prone to failure. Yes, it's the goblins' fault. They failed you, General, not me. General? Take Minthara below. Someone will have to consider her fate. Well, there ain't nothing below no. anymore, Cuthric. Please! Mercy! Please. Okay. He's getting taken to the prison. <laughs> There's nobody in the prison. Bye bye, princess. And the goblins, general. You 
true soul. You have seen what these creatures are capable of, and you have seen their inadequacies, isn't that so? What is your judgment? We did as we were told. We're loyal to the Absolute. Tell him! Enough! True soul, tell the General how the goblins served our cause. Attack the half-orc and the general. Just kill them. They're worthless. It ain't true! We could as anyone. Just give us a chance. And there you have it. We are too close to the ending. And the new beginning. I can coddle failure no longer. Yes. Kill them quickly. Old bag of <laughs> I saw this in marketing. Hell of a throw. I'm so sorry, my lord. She's an unbeliever outside my control. again. Yes. What happens if you decapitate him? Put that true soul to use. They've proven themselves reliable. Of course, my lord. General Cuthbert Thorne. I serve you, master. You heard the general. The goblins are yours. Deal with them however you wish. Thank you. I'm going to enjoy this. Do. Have fun. Here in the seat of the Absolute's power, your authority over them is complete. They will obey any command. Report to me upstairs when you're done. Yeah, you ain't gonna do anything drastic, are ya? We've been nothing but loyal! Spill your guts on the floor. I want to see you bleed. No! Please! <gasps> oh, no, no, no. I'm about to get... I'm about to get demonetized. I'm about... Oh, shit. Well, oh, well. That was pretty brutal. We'll see if I get age-restricted on this one. The seat of the Absolute's power. Occupied by a general that cannot be killed. Dude, that was sick. But his followers are flesh and blood. That was awesome. We must learn more about his power. We're going to try a different role in a second, but first let me go over here. Let's see where Minthara is. Okay. These guys are the ones that brought Minthara down here. It'd be cool if I don't think the game's going to react to me. This is purification. Killing the Wait, warden. Can't give up now. Ready or not. You were adored, Minthar. Brought up from the darkness and into the Absolute's light. She cherished you, but it wasn't enough. You were distracted by your own desires. Bloodlust, murder, chaos, and most damning of all, an inability to follow orders. I obeyed to the best of my ability! And isn't that depressing? You are nothing. 
the drow reaches out to you psychically, connecting with you for a moment. She is infected like you, and her mind is disintegrating. Come to observe, true soul. She is a lesson. None can rise so high that they cannot fall again. Uh, blood's usually not a problem. Uh, Self-harm can be, though. That would fall into that category. I think it probably will be okay, but we'll find out. It is what it is. Can't do anything about it now. What are you doing to her? We are erasing her. Oh, so many different options in this game. It's crazy. I've been instructed to handle this prisoner myself. Actually, stand aside. I'm taking charge here. It's my half orc. It's my hireling doing this. Yes, your authority is great. We can learn. Hey, big. Watching you break what little remains of her mind. The only thing I'm going to break is you. Are you quite mad? Or maybe defective. You won't break us. And you won't leave here alive. Okay. This is going to be interesting. Am I going to be able to join Ketherick Thorm with Minthara? I don't know if Minthara is going to be able to join our group now or if it's going to be after Moonrise Towers. Warden aid us. Ha ha ha. Ain't no warden gonna aid you. Oh crap. Oh! You guys see that? They cast confusion on my character and I just cast fireball on the ground in front of my entire team. Oh, that's freaking classic, man. Dara fighting hand to hand. Got you. Oh, that's great. Give me some buffs. Just gonna save the spell slots. Damn, I hate confusion. Tough spell. Can make Minthara a good guy? I don't know. Good question. Do anything stupid, wolf. Oh my god, another fireball. Jeez, dude. Why does my character only cast fireball when he's confused? Like any other spell in my entire arsenal would be fine. You like Benthar? Me too. By the time where you get her, you can't even make yourself a good guy. I expected to be greeted as a hero, but the wretches imprisoned me and tried to tear my mind apart. I didn't think anyone would come for me. What were they doing to you? Erasing my thoughts and my will. Even I could not have endured for much longer. We need to get out of here. Agreed. L let's go. Lead the way. Dude, this is so interesting. I have to lead her out of Moonrise Towers now? Where do I lead her to? Like, what if I wanted to join Ketherick Thorm? And Thara's asked for help escaping Moonrise Towers. We'll have to escort her until we've put some distance between us and the forces of the Absolute. Move. The quicker, the better. Can I disguise her? It's a good idea. Oh, damn. Nobody. Oh, shit.
All right, let me save. Let's try something real fast. Uh, after it saves. This is probably going to be the run that I go with. But I want to try something for the end of the stream. I think this is... I want to see what those other options are with Cuthric Thorm. Go to the docks. Oh yeah, I wonder if the docks would work. And then we can... I wonder if I can send her to like my camp. And then push on with supporting Cuthric Thorm. <laughs> I wonder if she can be in my group when I talk to Catherick Thorn. I want the enough a blast. You play who's then? All right, let's try to force our will on Catherick. Push him to declare Manthara innocent. Twenty-one. Okay, don't need a twenty, but probably an eighteen or nineteen. Holy crap. Your mind extends outward and grasps at nothing. Oh, what? In Catherick's place, you feel an absence. No psionic power. No tadpole at all. The goblins! You lot! And what would you do to the... They are... Po True. Ultimate failure must earn ultimate... Night Warden Minthara, your crime is incompetence, and your sentence is death. No! Make her passing slow, Disciple Zorel. Be creative. Apparently it didn't count here, Replicator. Watch and say nothing. Take her below. Ah. Oh. No. Okay, hold on. Oh, he said what? kill the goblins too. No. <laughs> Alright, we'll skip. This is a great scene, but we're gonna skip through it because we already did it. You heard the general. The goblins are yours. Deal with them however you Yeah. Alright, let's you um gonna do anything drastic, are ya? Well, well, we've been nothing but Guards, loyal. release them. Praise the absolute and your merciful streak will be the death of us one day. Oh, that's cool. Okay, let's go down to Mithara now. And let's kill her. We must learn what fuels his power. You were blood lab and Jimenthar. Come to observe, true soul. She I expected her to be dismembered, disappointing. No, when the body suffers, we retreat into the mind. But when the mind breaks, all is lost. We are erasing her. Excellent. I'd like to watch. She will not be utterly destroyed. What is useful shall remain. None of you will break me. That's Bay right there. Wrong. Finish her. How do you feel? Ecstatic. <laughs> Devoted. Inspired. Damn, that's sad. Excellent. A job well done, sister. For the absolute. For the absolute. I serve the absolute. I serve the absolute. All right, folks, we're obviously not going to run with that. I'll roll with the first results, but it's pretty cool just to check that out. That's all I got for tonight. Coming up on four hours for the stream. And I think I'll probably, what's today? Today's Wednesday. I think I'll be live tomorrow night around 7, 7.30, 8 p.m. Eastern. We'll continue on with this and then maybe jump onto Starfield after that for one session. We'll see. And also I started focusing um, on making class guides and build videos once again. So that will be the focus of videos on the channel for the next probably month, probably couple months. I should have a ranger build out 
I'm thinking in like two days, I'll have a ranger build out. I'm spending a lot of time on a per video basis to make them entertaining, fun, and informative. So um, I'm excited to share the ranger build. It's not the one that I used in the Let's Play. And I also have to jump into multi-classing, really test out some builds. I'm excited to do that as well. All right. So uh, thanks for hanging out. Appreciate all the donos tonight. Gifted memberships, all that good stuff. Thanks, Hem. And to be continued, I'll definitely be finishing this playthrough all the way through. And if you happen to miss a live stream, you can just go to the live streams tab on the YouTube channel homepage or on my channel homepage. Then you can watch it sometime after the fact that it's over. Bring back the skits in the beginning of videos. You know, I'd like to do that. I'd like to bring some skits onto the channel one of these days. I kind of miss those. I was so I was having so much fun back then when I was making those skits. But it was also different because back when I used to do those skits, I wasn't making a living off of YouTube. So money wasn't an objective at all. Not at not even one little bit. I didn't care about money at all for YouTube. It was just grow a channel and have fun with it. Unfortunately, of course, I still want to have fun now, but now this is how I make a living. So my time has to be uh, spread into ways that actually make sense for me to continue paying bills, etc. <laughs> okay, I'll catch you all on the next one. Goodbye. Where's the end screen? There it is. See a triple. Thanks for hanging out. Do you think you can show a cross class build guide with cleric and each of the other? That's actually an interesting idea for a video. Just like show multi classing. Focus on one class and multi class it into every other class and show the possibilities. That would be a lot of work though and a lot of research. But I might do that in the future. Maybe after I get through like all the basic class guides so I have a better understanding of everything. Because I haven't memorized everything in this game. There's a lot of things that I don't uh, I don't know off the top of my head. Sorcerer skit. That one is a classic. Hundred dollars if you stay on. <laughs> nah, man, I gotta get up. I gotta move my body, eat some food. But I appreciate it though. Yeah, maybe I'll find a way to... We'll figure out some skits in the future. Um, we'll figure it out. Yeah, but back then I was working a full-time job. I already had income coming from other sources, so when I was doing videos, I didn't care at all about that, which is which was the beauty. You turn it into a job, it does change things. For better and for worse. Well, the skits are still there. Actually, you know what? The, the, God, they're so cringe, though. I don't know if I want to share them. There's a video where I compiled all the skits into one. Let me see if I can find it. I don't know if I can watch my old content anymore. Let me see. Wolfheart FPS. I think it's called Critical Failure is the name of the... Okay, there it is. Yeah, I found it. <laughs> all right, here is the skit for every single class in D&T. <laughs> I know. I remember I compiled it all into one video because I was like, these took a lot of work. I'm going to make it one video. Okay, there you go. If you guys want to see Wolfheart like seven years ago. Actually, it's only like three years ago. It's still pretty cringe, though. That's some cringe shit right there. You guys enjoy it, okay? All right, goodbye. <laughs>